Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, hello, welcome to the show, and I just found out that I made the wrong ammunition. Ah! Welcome to the show, though. Today we're playing Foxhole, and the second phase of the dev test dropped, and now we have the new gunboats. Well, new hyphens, because they're just really the same gunboats that have been slightly reworked again. So, uh, we're working on that one. I've got enough R mats for it, but, um, apparently they take mortar shells and not 120. Oops. Okay, uh, hmm. Let's see, I think we're good to go here. Uh, did all the alerts fire properly? Yes, okay, good. Alright, I'm currently alone. Uh, Argo's running around here somewhere. But, uh, right. So I was about to head down to the dock with enough RM mats to actually make a boat. We don't have enough to make two, but, well, we've got one. We'll drive around and see what happens here, but I've now nah, I've got to nah, I've got to go get scrap and now I've got to go get mo go make mortar shells. Dang. Okay. Right. So welcome to the show, ladies and gentlemen. At least I made some emats. Kind of did that by accident, thinking, hmm. Oh wait, nope. Almost walked out without my arm mats. I'm kind of zipping around uh, because. Uh, oh right. Desktop audio wasn't unmuted. There we go. Right, I'm zipping around here because I want to get all the resources before everyone else steals all the fucking resources. I want to join, but the dev server won't let me in. Damn. Well, Argo got in. Ironclad, just keep trying, I suppose. We always run into this fucking problem, too, when people actually want to play the damn game. The servers are never, never seem to be big enough, huh? Okay, so I guess we'll get some salvage here and we'll start making a couple of boxes of mortar ammunition. Because apparently... The boats take mortars, even though I was expecting them to just, you know, to be, you know, 120 millimeters or something like that. But no! So now there's 80, 120 millimeter shells sitting at Quietus, and they're not fucking going anywhere. Well, unless we make a heavy tank and set it on a barge and drive it up somewhere. Okay, so... Okay, we need some B-mats that'll take, like, three seconds. But very busy. Very, 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 very busy. Very busy. Plenty of E-mats, so I'm assuming that all I just need is the B-mats to actually start the, the production. We should be able to get, like, four... You know, one... You know, one full production of uh, crates and mortar shells, and that should be good for our purposes. All the supplies that we put in quite as before are still there. So that should be enough emats to do whatever the fuck I need to do here. Okay, 500 bmats, perfectly fine. Okay, back it up. Back, back it up. Back, back it up. I barely remember how to play this game, but logistics comes somewhat naturally to me. This is my Eva uh, yeah, minor, uh, you know, by trade coming back out. You guys don't see that more. But hey, these emats that I made earlier are still here. Okay, uh, yeah, ammo, uh, mortars, mortars, more. I'm, I'm going to assume that, uh, regular flare mortar, shrapnel mortar. Oh, right, these. Nearby, uh, die, we probably don't need those. Regular HE it is. Okay, good. Perfect! Fantastic. That's gonna take six minutes, but we're good. Okay. At least it wasn't an orphanage. <laughs> An entire company of atlases landed on a hospital. Man. That is a shame. But okay, so... You'd see this part of me doing logistics more often, but the problem is, uh, I can't really get too many people to help me with that one, and some, you know, in some cases it's a little bit, you know, not that amazing to watch. Eve is kind of an exercise in, well, drawing attention to yourself and suffering the horrible consequences, so we can't really be playing that on stream. Sadly! At least not seriously. So, let's see here. That's, yeah, six minutes for that. F that should be enough. Actually, what I could do, since I did make some secondary armaments earlier, what I could do is I could make some more 50 ammo. Since, yeah, we can make two bins of that. Okay, we have nothing. I guess we'll save the B-mats for repairing the boat. Yeah, that's totally what those are for. These, God bless. Although, while I'm sitting here, I could probably just make... You know what? While I'm sitting here waiting for this shit to cook, 
I can always go back to the component mines and go get more fucking components. So we have some reserves, even though I don't think... I, I, I think any enter enterprising individual who sees the Armats anywhere near the docks is going to immediately say, I want to use a gunboat today. So I don't think it's actually going to be, uh, whatchamacallit, it's going to be there in reserves for very long, but, well, this is the nature of this game. Everything is free, or else. Okay, good. These are cranking at full capacity, fantastic. We need 140... R mats to make a gunboat? They reduce the price, probably because they want a lot more of them out there. So, we should be able to get enough to build two, just in case we happen to lose the first one in an, in an unfortunate boating accident. But are you going to get an EDF-6? I haven't thought about it that in a while, but possibly? Sure. People keep telling me about, oh, new e EDF game is coming, and I, I like, I just intermittently forget about it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Autism Ho. Thankfully, that's not going to take 26 minutes. But okay, so there's that. That should actually... What, 40? There's... That should give us close. I don't have the exact, you know, conversion math in my head worked out, but that should be close to two. Okay. That's... Okay, that's three minutes out cooking, and that's the ammunition. I think I can probably run to the, the component mine to the south real quick, and that'll definitely give us an upper two. I don't have the rough calculations, yo, yo, in my head, yo, memorized, but I... I kind of know. What I kind of know is get more. That's, that's usually the answer. Get more. And once we're do done doing this, we're going to go down to the docks and get a hammer. And as we were before, anybody in the Discord who wants to join in on today's, yo, frivolity, you may do so, if you can get into the server, because apparently Ironclad's having trouble. War is a bottom bottomless pit of resources. Yes. This game will teach you that in spades. And, oh, good, fantastic. All right, good, that should be enough. Argo is running around here somewhere. I saw him earlier, he was building a truck. Martin, I don't think Martin's home from work yet, and Caster, I have no idea where he is. So I'm on my own, unfortunately, right now. They also put in the dry dock building, which after we're done fucking around with gunboats, we'll have a look at. Building a facility is a goddamn thing, but if we're going to build a facility, it's just going to be for the dry dock so we can make our own U-boats whenever the hell those come in. Okay. Uh, there you go. Okay, I guess... God bless. Um, hmm. Yeah, no, 140? Well, hmm. That should be enough for two. Good. Okay, we'll leave the rest cooking. Okay, that should be everything, right? One minute left. Okay, fine. Two boxes of 50. I made some RPGs earlier. Uh, they should still be down in Quietus, but I made a couple crates of bow breakers for pintle mounts and, you know, some machine guns. So all that shit should still be there! And crate of mortar shells, how many of these? Fifteen per box? Yeah, it's enough. Four boxes of fifteen. I think, I think that'll be good. I don't even think we can, I, we probably can't even load that many on the boat. All systems nominal, get me in the chat. Okay, uh, hang on here, let me pull this up. Um, let's see, okay, uh, 
Ironclad, join Video 0 and I'll drag you into the streaming room, since we're just kind of mucking about. Argo, if you can hear me, do the same thing. We'll get you in here. Okay, and... Done. Fantastic. Alright, we're fucking leaving. Swoop in here, grab the rest of this shit. That that's a minuscule amount. But excuse me, excuse me. Ah, oh, what an inconvenient place to park. Anyway, okay, now we go down to the dock. Frankly, I think it's, you know, it's very easy to confuse uh, the situation in this game uh, being more about the logistics than the actual fucking war fighting. The gameplay would kind of lead you to believe that sometimes. Because sadly, it's not the most exciting fighting game, but boy, is this autistic. Boy, is this an autistic train set if I ever saw one. Even before we had trains. Right? See you around, uh, sleepless, we're gonna be here all day. Ah. You are invited. I guess we'll go in squad chat just for the sake of it. Submit the stockpile, all four of these. Submit the stockpile. Two of these. Right, the B mats will keep on hand, and. Uh, well, you know what? I'm gonna try and keep these R mats in the truck, but I, they're guaranteed to be stolen by the time I get the fuck back here. Is a shame. Spawn here. Okay. Boat! Ah, uh, hmm. It would appear that we have some other, en yet yeah, several enterprising individuals doing the same fucking thing. That is a- Man, that's really awkward. The Rock of fucking Quietus. Is there any nope, that guy's already got that down. Alright, it's me and the Rock. It's me and the fucking Rock. That is really fucking inconvenient, though, but it's me and the goddamn Rock. Boat! I should be able to get over there. Well, ah, yep, okay. And we're hammering, and we're fucking hammering. I'm not sure if this rock is supposed to be here, but if any developer could see me, this looks incredibly scuffed. I will remember this giant rock, though. Maybe shift it out shore so it's not directly in the way of the dock, but still there. We'll call it the Rock of Quietus. The Quiet Rock. It's here. Staring at us. Quietly. I don't know if there- actually, you know what, I don't know if there's diesel, but I can very easily siphon the diesel out of the truck. But boat. I believe these are bigger now than they were. The other ones were kind of smallish, but they've made them bigger now because the, the rear deck is actually walkable again. And there's that interior space I'm, I've been curious about. I don't exac exactly know what's in that interior space, because clearly you have to get up to the front turret somehow, and then the inner turret, but I- is there a walkable space in there? I don't know. Ah. 
One moment. Hello, sir. Hello. Yes, I'm at the dock hammering the boat together right now. Oh, we got the arm mats we need? Yes, I've got enough for two of them, though the second one is guaranteed to be stolen by the time we get back to fucking port. But oh well, lost calls. Can we lock the boats? Um, well, we could put the arm mats in the boats, but that would be a terrible idea if we happen to lose them. But yes, we can lock the boats. Uh... Port and Quintus, or the one they seem to have made to the east? Well, Quietus, or Quintus, whatever it is. I keep calling it Quietus. I'm in the yeah. center. I'm on the center dock. You can't fucking miss it because there's a giant rock in the middle of it. Well, interesting. I have no idea if that's intentional or not, but man, does that look scuffed. I'd imagine so. All right. It is completed! Lock that bitch. I'll be right back. Okay, put that in there. Okay, how much inventory space we got? There is none. There is no inventory space. Good day. Wow, you can't carry anything in that. Wow. Fuck. Well, anyway. Just to see if you can build a crate in the back deck. Good idea. Would we? It'd probably be a bug, honestly, but let's see here. Great, great, great. Where's the magic box? Where is the magic box? Ah, oh, storage box. Okay, must have put build to it. Well, I have a build to it. The magic box? Too far. Too, too far. Okay, uh... It does not appear on, on the boat. Oh god. Shame. Oh god, I've fallen into the water. Uh, 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 okay, there we go. Whoa! Oh, okay. That's, um... And watch out for the Akula. So how the fuck am I gonna get back onto the dock, guys? I can't hop back up the dock. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Okay. That seems like a design flaw. Where's the fucking ladder for the dock? Okay, that should be good enough. I, I, I hope. I, I, I hope. Yeah. It, 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 okay, good. That'll work. Okay. I sincerely hope that'll work, but okay. So now we got to get two pintle mount guns and the the mortar ammunition. Okay. So, um. Okay, there's, well, there's one of the faux breakers left that I made earlier, and I'm alone. Okay, good. Okay, ammunition. Okay, grab some of the mortar shells. I don't know how many we can put in there, but we're going to take a bunch. And also some... Uh, Belts of 50s, if we can get those in there. Where the fuck are the RPGs again? Um, uh, I, hmm. I don't actually think there are any... I think you need the other one, which is like the... I believe someone has stolen all of the RPGs that I made. Son of a bit. Yeah, no, they're gone. Son of a bit. Oh, well, I guess that means no foe breaker then. Fuck it, 250s. I even made a flamethrower. There's no fucking fuel here, but I made those. Those are mine. Did they make mountable flamethrowers? Uh, I thought that was... Yeah, they, these, these apparently are mountable, I think. These are guaranteed to not fucking be here by the time we get back, but God bless. Is there any fuel here? Um, it's probably some at the dock, but 
No. Also, just to put it on, gas mask, and then one of our 80 fucking boilerplate uniforms that we had the other day. Well, actually, you know what, I'll come, I'll come back for those real quick. Remember, you can stash the um, stuff we really want to keep in the seaport, and then just create a private um, locker. Ah, you can do that. Enough of the of Christ. Okay. I have to move all this shit over by hand. Well, actually, that's a heavy object. Deploy. Well, there's that one. I don't know about the front one, but... Hello, Ironclad. Hello, sir. Okay, we can carry 30 mortar shells. There's a sledge here. Why is there a sledge here? That's it's mine. I, it's mine. I dropped it. Okay, box of 50 ammo. Now, I... I have no idea how we're gonna get this to the front of the boat without falling directly into the water, but... Too far to deploy. Yeah, I figured as much. Okay, hang on here. All right, we're doing some amazing rockets. Ah, this is walkable in here. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna cross. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna use my mind powers to deploy this on the f amazing. Use my amazing powers of telepathy to put a 50 cal on a turret in from behind a door. Uh, is this a bug? Cause it. It's acting like I'm in water. Yeah, it might be. It might. What you call it? It, it, might, it might need to. Might, need, might we might need to be in motion because uh, the thing spawned, floating in midair, and then dropped as soon as I got into the driver's seat. So, not quite sure what's going on there. Also, if you notice, we've got a pair of torpedo tubes, but no torpedoes. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm kind of wondering about that. It should pre be pretty obvious that a PT boat should have torpedoes, but we'll see about that one. Okay, so, gas mask, filter, 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 boilerplate uniform. Making sure the, the worst doesn't actually happen. Where's the mask? Oh, there it is. Okay, that's the, oh, these should stack. What? God damn it. There, good, stacking. Yeah, I will likely be driving, so I will not be looking. Grab a wrench, because we knew what the fuck happened. We saw what happened last time. It was very embarrassing. Ironclad, what are you doing running around? I'm gonna check uh, the public uh, supply. Uh, Jesus there Christ. Almost drove, off the, almost drove off the dock. We don't want to repeat of what happened the other day. I'd like to select the boat, please. I'd, I'd love to select the, select the boat, please. I want to select the fucking boat! Okay, there we go. I want to select the boat without accidentally falling in the fucking water, if that's actually possible game. God, this... There they really should be just... You shouldn't be in danger of falling off the fucking dock at a moment's notice. Okay, put some fucking guardrails up here. Jesus goddamn Christ. Also, why am I still carrying this uniform? I don't need it. So we really need one of those magazines. I've got my bridge luger. Nice. Yeah, it's half ammunition loaded for the mortars. Hmm. Wrench. B mats. I think that 50 B mats is probably enough. 
Hang. I shouldn't be needing much because I'm going to be in the captain's seat. So... I would just keep on loading, and then when we're done loading, we feel her up and we go. Okay, so we need 15 more, I think, about. Why is stuff exploding? People are probably doing weapons testing off, uh, you know, offshore. Hmm. Good to see if these white ash grenades have survived, but, uh, yeah, the, the uh, somebody took all the mammons. All the HE grenades are gone. There was over a hundred of them. Wrong. Okay, hang on. Put that back there. Yeah, so in the future, remember to create a reserve stockpile in the seaport. Yeah, we were just being simple about this because it didn't look like anybody was doing the barge piracy that we were doing, and we made more supplies than we needed. Unfortunately, I wanted to get more people in here, and no, um, nobody showed up, so we only had three people. We could only waste so many supplies with just three people. Right. Oh, hey, that's odd or well apparently you can produce the moray torpedoes even though the submarine is not in the dev server interesting uh produced an ammunition factory so we need to build a facility to create these yeah so we need an ammunition factory in addition to a dry dock to make the u-boats okay I kind of needed to know, th I, I, I wanted to know about this, so this is good, you know, good to learn this. Okay, split stack. Good. Alright, unfortunately, uh, we don't need this one mortar shell. I think we're good on mortars. We are full up on HE mortars, and we're just gonna go bother people with them. Uh, let's see here. Um, how many belts of 50? We got plenty. <laughs> 50 cal. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Uh. What? I guess some freaking Kali partisans have taken the relic base at Silver, which is in the heart of the Oathbreaker Isles. Um... Oh, I forgot to put that fucking mortar shell back. Oops. I mean, on the one hand, that's very... That's very bold of them to have sailed all the way in there, sneak in, and take over the middle aisle. They could have raided into here all... all the over. But they decided to rebuild the relic base and say, Hey, we're here. Come blow us up. Hmm. We had some random, you know, uh, colonials running around. One guy was randomly mic spamming and then just kind of followed us around. <laughs> we called him the ship's monkey the other day. Very interesting. Okay. I was at I was at work and then just. Okay, eighteen belts of fifty cal is perfectly fine. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna need more than eight. I I don't think we're gonna need that many, but just in case. But... You would be surprised. So anyway. there's, we physically cannot carry any mortar shells, so there is that. These B mats, also probably not that. Yeah, you know, the, these don't are, aren't needed. But fine, I'll take. I will take more 50 cal. We'll take uh, ten more, and then we're good. I just need to pull her up to the dock and refuel her. There's a bicycle in the water. I just what? noticed that. Why doesn't that surprise me? Okay, actually, 18, 10, 12. It... So, actually, 5, 10. That's perfect. Uh, fucking amazing. Someone, someone drove a fucking bicycle off the dock, and it's sitting in the water. Goddamn radical. 
absolutely fucking evil can evil shit. It's just like real life. Someone fucking lost their bike. Also, is it just me or is the ship sinking? Because I saw water texture. It, it's fine. I just made it with my own hands. You trust my craftsmanship, right? Um. <laughs> Don't answer that. <laughs> okay, good. We're loaded. Okay. All right, back this bitch up. Meh. All right, make sure you have a gas mask, filters, and go get, you know, a boiler suit or something. You'll probably be manning the gun, so you probably don't need a personal defense weapon, but there's, uh, 300 rounds of hangman ammo in the, the town hall. That I don't think anyone's going to be going through for the entirety of this fucking dev test. Okay. I'm sorry, what? We made a shitload of hangman ammo and hangmans just to see, because, hey, the it, it, it said it was the weapon of choice for pirates. Oh, you mean the freaking heavy rifle? Yeah, it kind of worked. We just needed a rapid fire weapon to round out, uh, round out the squad. But when you hit a man, that man was fucking dead. Yeah, it, that tends to happen. Um, uh, let me pull this over to the dock, though. But oh, oh, good lord. Okay. Very touchy. Very, very touchy. Looks like some people have also made the uh, mortar launcher. Oh, good lord. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, she turns like a boat. Oh, wait! Not as clever as you thought, huh? Yeah, she is a boat! Okay, well, actually, reversing is a whole lot better than just turning around. Wait, what the fuck? What do you, what do you know? The fucking rudder's on the back of the boat. Okay, so, okay, good. That's oh, still there, thank God. So, yeah. Very interesting. Okay, so... Fuel. Yeah. Fantastic! Alright, so... Right, I need to drive back over, do so on my bicycle. Okay, so how do you can- okay, Q to embark on cannon here. Okay, as it appeared, 360 degree traverse on the main gun. Fantastic. Okay, uh, let's see. A distance 75 meters maximum range. Not bad. Okay. I'm hopeful the, um, forward and rear have at least, like, 270 arcs, but... Hmm. Yeah, the, the rear gun looks extremely limited, but... Ooh. Hmm. I mean, the front one's on a ring. Uh, it's not so, actually using the ring, it's fixed in place. That's... that's... kind of awful. Guys, it's, come on. You've been at this for years now. You can't make a freaking... You can't turn the gun... Okay, the gun... the ship cannot defend itself directly side-on in either direction. That's... very bad. That's very, very mm. bad. That, that's, a, that's a critical fucking design flaw. And unfortunately, the only guys that carry light machine guns that can be fired off a ship are the Collies with that Kalto 2. Uh, wow, amazing. Hmm. Oh, right, did, 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 did we also mention that uh, they also get a boat that can fire from, you know, that has, that has its defensive guns firing properly left and right? Hmm. Hmm. But yeah, it looks like it's like both guns are on a ring. They should be able to traverse that ring, but they can't. I'm going to say that these probably aren't totally done yet, but that probably needs to get fixed. But okay. Yeah, I'm glad. Um, Grab a the pair. Whole server, the whole server needs to stand up, send a message saying, fix the MGs. Okay, that's locked. I should be able to get out of the boat from here. I did on the dock. Right, I need a pair of binoculars. That's what I missed. Because if somebody's going to be on the gun, uh, I'm going to need to be able to, I'm going to, well, it's only 75 meters range, but we're going to get close to something and shell it, you know, mercilessly. So, right. uh, your proper azimuth would probably be helpful. I didn't think I was going to need that, but you know what? Fuck it. How many hangmans did you guys make? Uh, we made, uh, let me see here, let me get the actual count here. Uh, we made, uh, s well, there's 74 left, and there's 280 fucking magazines worth of ammo. It didn't take us that long, though, so it wasn't like we in wasted- In the town our hall? Yes, in the town hall. 
it That's wasn't not there's 19 now and 2344 mag uh people people have been stripping this place well no well over what you call it the town hall over here has 74 of them oh you're talking about the town hall in quietness yes i went back to the town hall in all right why did you go all the way why did you go up there because I figured this was where you were mostly doing the building. Uh, the boat's ready! Get back down here! I am not smart, man. Good lord. Okay, well, the boat's full. <laughs> the, boat is, the boat is fueled and ready to go right next to the seaport. Get your ass down here. I could, I mean, good yeah, stalling I for time for some people, some other people to show up. But get, get down here! Yeah, I guess I am. But at the same time, I also figured this would be where, like, the spare RPG stuff would be. Because... The refinery's here. Yes. Th that was that was most of my basis because I do a lot of solo lodgy, so I base a lot of my stuff around the foundry and then just do long distance delivery. Okay, something just exploded violently. I think someone accidentally drove off the pier. But yeah, no, I brought uh, <laughs> I brought some faux breakers and RPGs and the uh, the fifty cals and their ammo tins down here, and it looks like somebody stole all the RPGs. I'm not surprised, though, because they probably... Some people were out here building ships, so they probably took those first. Um, let's see. I swear I saw some. And honestly, judging by the looks of the Pinto mounts, they might as well be foe breakers, because they're going to be shit for actually defending the boat. I do have some good news. There's a whole bunch of mammons over here. There's 94 mammons stashed in the town hall. I can bring these over. Thing. Well, I'm sure, but we only have two. We only have enough resources for two boats, basically. So let's just get out. Let's get down here and actually go sailing. I can't do this alone. Yeah, no. All right. Can't have too many RPGs. No, we cannot. But we had. I I overstocked with fifty cal because the mammons are really easy to f actually make. <laughs> oh. Hi, Argo. Right. Argo, we're ready to go here. Uh, hop in uh, the Discord and I'll drag you in. Uh, join Video 0 and I'll drag you into the streaming chat. And I will take one mammon with me just in case. See, I knew Anything... he was around here somewhere. Oh, wait. I get to, I, I'm pretty sure I can put a bayonet on this as well. Ah, ah, understandable. Well, I'm I'm gonna be here for a bit because Ironclad's up and um, uh, Quiet is doing logistics, or rather, up in all site doing logistics for some reason. We'll be here all day, though. <laughs> and then he fell unconscious. What a shame. But it certainly looks like a nice Schnell boat, doesn't it, folks? Uh, okay, well, actually, hang on here. Let me... Is there... Let me get in here. Is there a way to... Lo actually, no. Okay, so now it's loaded. So if I get out... And get back in... Okay, good, it remains loaded. Let's go... Let, yeah, let's make sure all the guns are fucking loaded. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so these are these look like they're pretty fucking terrible for actually doing anything. Also, yeah, it costs stamina to move inside the boat, probably because the interior of the boat is too low. That technically counts as in water. That's rather silly. They probably wanted to be super cool with an effect there, but now it actually it actually costs like stamina to get in there. Whoa. I think uh, I think it's got a issue or I, where. Or I was holding shift like a moron. You don't move any faster though. I think the issue is that because boats flood, it hasn't been properly. There's a bug in the code. Yeah, there's probably just a, actually. Wait a minute. Um, actually, yeah, no, I think I see it on my player model. It's actually like knee-deep water in here, <laughs> I Even think. Though we... 
yeah, you can see it kind of. It's not really there, but there's a silhouette outline on my boots. That's very strange. Yeah, you see, that's very odd. Yeah, actually, no. No, you can actually see it. You can see the water level inside. Yeah, no, this the boat's pre-flooded. What the fuck? <laughs> that's, uh, probably want to fix that. Well, this is what the dev branch is for, isn't it? Exactly. This is We're here to test things and see what we can get away with in terms of, like, our own piracy on the live server, which, honestly, the prospects look pretty good so long as we can actually get people here. We can definitely do it forever if we really wanted to. The resources that we'll need are so fucking cheap that we can just, like, one person doing logistics every time we lose a boat would probably keep us running an entire day. All right, I have arrived. All right, I'm by the seaport dock. I'm by the fuel can. Does it have a horn? No, it does not have a horn. For shame. Very unfortunate. Hello, come aboard. All right, get into the turret and press Q because I feel like that's probably the only worthwhile position. I can't. It is locked. Oh, right. Should probably, well, get into this and then, uh, whatchamacallit? It's E. Reserve for squad. Yes, good. Now it's squad locked. Okay! And now we go to sea. Yeah, gunboats are thankfully cheap. We'll be able to get a fleet of them if we had the manpower to crew them. This is true. Also, uh, hmm. Someone has abandoned their gunboat. Actually, no, they're there. They're swimming, though. Very odd. Right, yeah, the gunboats are... We're still gonna need our mats, which is gonna be kind of a thing. And boy, this thing is fucking lagging around in the water, isn't it? But yeah, we'll be able to get a fleet of these, no problem. And they look respectable. It's a shame that the pintle mounts are suck. But hey, we just have forward-facing, forward and rear-facing RPGs. And then we'll probably have a bunch of people on the rear deck shooting at anybody who gets near the boat. Huh. So but there's a direct and indirect fire mode on the main gun. Oh, so you can do indirect fire. How far is the indirect? I can push it up to 100 meters. Okay, good. And so the minimum is 75. All right, well, good. Good, fantastic. So I've got a pair of binoculars, so we can indirect fire things, should we need to. Granted, I can't really look out for things, but we can probably shell some islands. Okay, that's getting a little bit too in there, and yeah, okay. Steering this is gonna... Okay, the barge is easy to steer. This thing is... <laughs> well, I mean, Granted... it is a speedboat. It sacrifices speed for turning. Well, or... at least, at least, you know, when you... It's easier to turn in reverse. So that's okay. That's is gonna take some getting used to, though. Is my point. Oh dear lord. Okay. Nope. 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 Back it up. B back. Back it up. <sighs> Jesus. Do we really need bigger boats than this? Uh, this boat is smaller than the old gunships. Like the old gunship was like a Corvette. Um. Um. So, so, uh, um, I can't, uh... Yeah, you can't fit under the bridge. Yeah, I know, but I can't, also can't open the bridge either. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> yeah, you gotta hop out, climb that ladder, and lift the bridge. But the barge can do that by itself. Jesus, fuck, fuck. Okay, well, just stay here, I guess. What a fucking comedy act. Um, this is probably a design choice to prevent, you know, fast attack gunships or whole ships from just rolling through a bridge. Oh dear God, the the ladder's broke. Ah <laughs> uh ha! -huh. This is going to be extraordinarily interesting. It can't open bridges. What the fuck? Yeah, I think um, I think that might need to be changed immediately. Only available repair at a dot. Are you? Are what? We can't fix it in C. Oh dear lord. Okay, can I? Okay, maybe well, I. Sir, 
Maybe I was just screwing around here. Maybe I could... Maybe I can actually get onto the... Uh... No. No, I cannot. I cannot get outside... The... What the fuck is this? <laughs> Dev server, everybody. <laughs> Work in progress! You see, pre-release back up there in the corner. And you see, now we really need it. So, um... How the remember, fuck? This is, how the this fuck is am Unreal I? Unreal Three, which was not the most stable of them. How the fuck am I supposed to open the? Assistance, hey! Peter. Hey, could you come back come and back. please open the? <laughs> he, he's gone. Wait, no, he's coming back. Yes. Could you please uh, raise the bridge? We can't actually raise it from here. The, the ladder's broken too. He has to switch both of them. You have to get both of them on, on the other side as well. Uh... Thank you! This is not really the mechanics I thought of for inspiring teamwork, but I guess it really worked out to some dastardly dev's intentions. Oh, uh, no, that's so that way someone can't just lift one Thank lever you. and block the bridge. No problem. Again, I... it's an it's an anti-griefing thing. Yeah, as yeah. well as a anti... Oh, oh no. Oh no, there's another one. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> what? We can't raise the... We can't raise the fucking bridge from here, though! Again. What it... okay. is this?! <laughs> Okay, now the barge is absolutely necessary to open fucking doors for Yeah, us. the barge has a fucking master key, and this is just... What the fuck? I mean, oh, oh, okay, uh... I hope I can hop onto the shore from here, because we're gonna have a fucking problem if I can't. You know what, I'll do it, because you're the driver. I'm gonna be fucking stranded here. Okay. Yeah. Good. Fantastic. Great. Fantastic. Please. Please. Rocky Shores, please let me up. Oh my fucking ah. god. Help! Oh dear lord. You're, you're kidding. Uh, gonna... you're, ki you're kidding. Oh, uh, there we go. Oh. I'm alive! The wow, this went, this, this went from enjoyable to a strange, horrifying nightmare that won't end. Oh no, I've got to flip both switches for the real bridge as well. Okay. Oh well, my god. Yeah, no. um, god, developers, I think this is a tad too much. Just let us open the bridges like barges. That this is, uh, no. Okay, how absurd is this anyhow? Like, okay, I'm stuck on the other side. I've got to lower that lever again so I can actually be on the right side. So I can get back on the boat. Yeah, I think, um... Did they, did they expect people to be manning the switches on bridges 24-7? Because, man, people are artistic about fo yeah, autistic about Foxhole, but not that much. Uh, I'm not quite sure what the design intentions are here. I think they may be crazy. They're not crazy in the exciting way. I mean, crazy in the who the fuck would do this. Okay, that switch reset. Okay, so when the bridge is up, you only need to flip one switch to lever them back into place, but to raise them, you have to flip both. What is Which this? Is... What is this nightmare? Where, where am I? <laughs> Again, this is most likely an anti-griefing thing. Yeah, I mean, yes, but the problem is, this is getting in our way. Can we destroy these bridges? <laughs> uh. I th oh, right. Act don't destroy it because then it'll permanently block us in because the pieces will fit in the waterway. Okay, so what I'm seeing is that we're going to make our harbor outside Quietus in the open water. Yeah, oh, out there because fuck having to deal with this bridge shit. Yeah, I'm thinking the people that made that um, facility offshore in Levitus. They ran into this earlier, and we're like, okay, fuck that. 
And so, yeah, this well, is, uh... Well, the barge can get through here just fine, and before today, we only had the barges, so... Ah. Oh, fuck, let me back up. All right, hang Please. on, hit Q, drive the boat. Okay, there we go. I got in the gunner seat. Perfect. Okay, fantastic. We're free, finally. But yeah, no, um... I think we need to be able to open bridges, developers, to get out to open water with our ships. And Maybe not may the battleships, but, you know... That might be a daring like concept this. to some... The bridge is still down. Like, nope, there it is. Okay. But there might be a... That might be a daring concept to some, but you may be able to rationally inconvenience the 30 people you want to, you know, be on a battleship to actually use the damn thing. But I think the four people in the gunboat should be able to just kind of pass by without any issues. How do you even fit a battleship through this fucking thing? Very carefully. Good lord. Okay. We're going, we're sailing. I don't know how we're going to get back, but just don't think about it. <laughs> don't worry. No one's connected to that railway, so that bridge will probably stay up indefinitely. Thank God it's for the, that. It's the land bridge we got to worry about. Hopefully the ladder on the opposite side is not broken. But yeah, um, guys, I think you can rationally inconvenience the people who are, like, the 30 people that you're gonna need to actually sail a battleship properly by having to make them do that, but I don't think anyone else should be- Oh, dear lord! Oh god, oh god, no! Go back! <laughs> oh god. All right, hang on. Don't- don't move. Don't panic. Uh... I'm running out of stamina and don't I'm alarming st rate. <laughs> Stop fucking moving, then! Good lord! Okay. Let me on the boat! Okay, so... Don't get um, out the boat. Rule number one, don't get off the boat. Stay, <laughs> stay in the fucking... I didn't need to. I just wanted to look around stay outside in, of the turret. Stay um, inside the fucking you, turret. Yeah, um... <laughs> so, firing off the back deck. Uh, that may not be a thing for as long as the water effects are not working properly. Because, um, I... As the boat was in motion, it slowly dragged me out. Yeah, that... Like... Uh, hmm. Something tells me that these are very much not fucking done. Hmm. Yeah, I, I kind of feel like we're flooding as we're going forward here because the, the fucking... The stern is a, 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 yeah. a, a, getting very worryingly awash. Yeah, it's like... There's... Dude, oh, we're a speedboat and dude, no, the, we're sinking. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, did did we maybe damage the hull enough that we got a puncture in the front when we smacked into the bridge? I mean... I was going to see if there were any, like, signs that water was oh, actually all right. pouring in. Oh, right, and also we can only repair at a dock, which... Okay, I guess we don't have any form of damage, con damage control whatsoever. Ride until you fucking die, I suppose. That doesn't make any sense either. I think the only thing we can do is patch holes... Oh, and right. Then... Oh, right. No, it's a submarine. Right. Right, Dancing Fool. This is a submarine. We, we've got submarine access early. <laughs> exclusive stream. Very exclusive. Okay, actually, that's <laughs> the wrong... That This hex leads directly on the... Uh, guys. Okay, this may be... I'm going to zoom in to not, you know, like, expose OPSEC, but, um... Guys. I don't think that's how land works. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. Secure I, map I, mode. I, I I don't I don't think that's how land works. I I'm we may want to regenerate the the uh the texture here or rather regenerate the land mass here because I don't think uh I don't think that's how land works. Where's also, that road to, going? Remember to keep safe offset with map. Hit huh. N, not M. Oh N. Oh, that's what that is. Oh, okay. So that doesn't show anything important. Okay, good. I th I, you see, I had a I have a keybind for Control M, so I actually just raised my stop card. But no, okay, good, thank you. But yeah, I'm I'm, pr I'm pretty sure that's not how landmass works. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> I think it, I'm I think the way they would like, you know, fix this is that if we did translate on this tile, we'd end up in the bay with the offshore platform. Probably, but hey guys, can we just have more water tiles? Like more than three? <laughs> Maybe well, they seem to be work they seem to be working on that. They ripped out the left side of the map to put in the newly designed um 
islands for Oathbreaker and such, but uh, yeah, it's a uh, it's a little jank. It's a little, it's a little jank. jank looking. It's a little jank. But here's the thing: we don't even need like terrain. We just need like three tiles on each side that are just fucking water and offshore platforms. That would be fine. Maybe some cosmetic just, islands like the intro to fucking Spongebob, but nothing else. I thought of another useful thing. Um, those floating docks, they suddenly become much more important if you can't repair at sea. Yeah, the mulberries. Or rather, no, the, the uh, whatchamacallit, the, you know, we should be, you know, hmm, we should try that. Hang on here. Where's the, okay, axe head has disappeared from my head, uh, hmm. Uh huh. A the Axehead Island has disappeared from my overlay. Very. Mine too. I have no what? idea where the landmass starts and ends. Dear God. And... <laughs> oh, wait, no, I, I can I see it on the minimap. Okay, we're good. We're not gonna suddenly fucking run aground on a mysterious isle. That, no, that's actually <laughs> Isle of the Deep. Literally wandering mm. islands. <laughs> I think the map's a little borked. Something tells me that the update for phase two is not going well. and This stream is going to be very, very fucking short. <laughs> Maybe, but at the same time, it's fucking hilarious. Yes, it is. But dev server, please understand. Uh, I'm interested in a lot of things about this update, and I think we have a future being, you know, uh, commerce raiding pirate bastards. But yeah, it's a little jank. Okay, so we're going to switch over there and go to the platform to see if we can actually repair at that platform, which is direly important, then? <laughs> that's actually incredibly important for that to actually, you know, that, if, if that's something we can do over there. Hmm. And because if not, then, then having those um, big transport ships build the floating docks that they demonstrated in the trailer is going to be really important for, like, naval warfare. Yeah, because we're going to need a fucking pirate atoll. Which is interesting, but wow, okay. Uh, yeah, we were, not, we were, we were that, cracking that, jokes about, yo, know, making Mother Base and inventing Doritos and Axe Body Spray, but shit, we might have to do that. That may actually be a thing. Okay. Also, so, look at all the barges. Yeah, um. Uh, yeah, can the, we even land? I is the real problem. No, that is a hard <laughs> fucking no. Guys! <laughs> I've heard of a fucking pontoon bridge, but guys, yeah, okay, this, we can't. No, I'd love to go over there and check, bridge. but good God, yeah, no. But actually, the first time we were out, someone actually tried. We we witnessed some people trying to make a mulberry, uh, uh, yo, uh, harbor pier all the way out to a platform, which that went. Hmm, that's genius, but that's probably not what they wanted you to do. Um, also, I don't think that's a pontoon bridge. I think that's a wall of barges so that partisans cannot just sneak up, land a barge, and blow everything up. Well, we're gonna fucking be doing that anyway. Burn the barges. Burn the rigs. <laughs> we're gonna be- we're, we will be attempting to do that because that's gonna be one of our primary objectives. Raiding those things, stealing anything that isn't nailed down, and then burning it. Okay, I am legitimately getting concerned because the frickin' black- <gasps> Bomb. <laughs> okay, traveling. Jesus fucking Christ. The yeah, back deck was getting deeper, and I was like, okay, are we flooding? Yeah, these are, um, these are a little jank. Okay. Oh, God. What are the battleships going to be like? Uh, probably the slowest fucking things on the planet. Okay, so... <laughs> Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, wait, wait, whoa, 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 wait, whoa! What the fuck's going on here? What? 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 No shit, Endless Shorts! <laughs> what the fuck? What's going on? What is... What is even... What? I... I am confused. Huh? What's going on on the other side of the map? I mean, those are those look like they're functioning properly, but what's what? What's Fonto going? Did, did did they hire Kojima? Yeah, they they, they mysteriously <laughs> they materialized a wait no wait no it's the it's the it's the island that Chapter Five of fucking Metal Gear Solid Five takes place in right it's the it's finally here. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's liquid and it's fucking Lord of the Flies Peter Pan shit. It's finally here. Cursed genes indeed. Good fucking Christ, what's going on over here? Okay, actually, we are currently sailing on land, says the map. Okay. <laughs> The cursed genes have infected the landmass. Well, guys, we finally made it to battle tanks. Congratulations! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> and the fuck? back deck continues to flood. The, the boat's flooding passively. We're sailing on land, says the navigator. <laughs> we can't sink if we're on land. Holy shit! The water was pretty much completely submerged the back deck for a moment there. Yeah, that's, um... This is... Worrying. I think this, this is... I think this may be too jank to sail. I think we may have to call off today's stream, but we're gonna go blow something up. Yeah, no, this is too funny not to stream. I'm sorry. The, we're yeah, this is entertaining for the sake of this, but I don't think this is I don't think we're <laughs> oh, doing God. much today. <laughs> Every time that happens, it scares the shit out of me. Bop. You think we you, you think they'd have an invisible buffer so that we we don't do horrifying shit like that, but okay. Um, so yeah, or um... Some, or some kind of UI that warns you when you're about to hit the more map border so you don't, like, damage the boat on it. Uh, once again, guys, we are currently in the middle of the... <laughs> I'm very glad that I don't have a mini-map while operating the cannon because it'll probably break what little sanity I've left. Look, Iron, just hit M and look at where we are right now. <laughs> We are, uh, uh <laughs> we yeah, are apparently. currently in the interior of the, uh, land. What is going on? Okay, I don't even know. I, well, I, the Isle of Psyche is definitely fucking something now. Um, there's, uh, an off there's a neutral offshore platform, um, to our west. I can't even navigate like this all that much, but okay, right. There, yeah, it's down there. That I don't think anyone's claimed that, and if they haven't, we're going to go look at it. It's probably covered it's, in fucking barges, though. B ablative fire. barge. A fucking ablative barge armor. <laughs> Either that, or it's on fire. Actually, that probably be a good thing, because then people might be around to try and claim it, and we can blow stuff up. Okay, well, we're going to approach and, well, just kind of look forward as we're approaching, and I'm going to turn on directly to it. But yeah, this is, um... Wait, so Fonto, I finally figured out what those pipes are for. Those aren't torpedo tubes. Those are the fucking exhaust for the engine. There's really shitty smoke particles coming out the ends. Actually, yeah, no, I could see it now. I thought it was water before, but yes, they're just kind of like puffs that are, like, phasing through the pipes. Excellent work, our team. A absolute excellent work. <laughs> Not excellent. only that, there's a there's there's a fucking gap in there. There's no engine, so where are these pipes directing the fumes from? Fucking, it's impressionist art. You're just supposed to imagine <laughs> the lines there. The artist couldn't fucking draw itself. You're just supposed and to imagine it there. Not only that, I don't see any propeller blades under the boat. What if they're actually using the fumes as freaking jet propulsion? Well, you know, you know, you, what you would call it. <laughs> we have submarines. We can go under the waves. This is probably that's probably going to be like the Jesus fucking like it's it, yeah. It's there, probably going to be XCOM terror from the deep down there with the state of gunboats. <laughs> yep, there and look at that. A blade. A of, well, it's destroyed, and yeah, a blade of barge armor. Can't get close. Actually, we can pull alongside it, but it's probably... There's a fucking crane floating off the sea surface on the other side. Also, the freaking tiny um, <laughs> river boats, I guess, with the mo They're practically in the water. There's something really fucking going on with the water levels in the game right now. Yeah, well, probably, yeah. probably because they added an underwater, which is a new and daring concept. Depth. Up and yeah, down. Just... Next thing, they're going to be adding fucking planes, and then all bets are off. Yeah, there's like, yeah. a construction crane just fucking sitting out there. <laughs> just living its best life. Levitating. Um, I'm not sure about that. It, I think it's kind of I am suffering. Deeply concerned about the state of this air. I, this, ironclad, this, 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 uh, this platform may be cursed. Hmm. Okay, so can you know? 
Nope. <laughs> Repair only available at a dock. Nope. This is well. It, when it's destroyed, it does not count as a dock. Go fuck yourself. I mean, I guess. So yeah. Uh, so Ironclad, what do we do if we're? What if we do if we're on fire? What 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 what, what happens then? <laughs> um. I mean, they added firefighting to the game, so I think we should have brought buckets. But you see, Ironclad... You're supposed to collect water and throw buckets of water at the fire to put it out. Yeah, uh, Ironclad, the boat has no inventory. <laughs> the boat doesn't have... Mm. The boat has no inventory for anything other than its weapon ammo, which is, uh... Yeah! <laughs> I guess... I mean... I I, I guess we're gonna thing. have one guy that's designated freaking, Bucket Man. Here's the thing, even the flatbed truck has one space for storage. You can stash practically anything in the freaking giant-ass flatbed half-track thing. <laughs> fucking do anything. F fucking do Vendetta by the Proto Men is in my head right now. Air Man! Quick Man! <laughs> bucket Man! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, right now for me, it's um, leave your body and soul at the door. I very clearly died and entered the fucking Nevermore land or dream world that Nemo went to. D D Danny Elfman reigns supreme. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, we probably can't raid a seaport there, but I, I don't know if there are any guns over there. Shall we check? Because that's, that's not a town, I don't think. We could probably um... shell the docks. Again, we should have been we should have been on land this entire time, and now we're finally entering an estuary. And you're saying there's land over here? I mean, the I'm, map I'm, is the, so, it's the super land. It's on another plane <laughs> of existence. It's like floating islands. Merlin lives there. <laughs> okay, so about front to our two o'clock, we're gonna see the enemy-owned seaport. Uh, we haven't been shot at yet, which is a good sign. I mean, if they got a naval cannon, it should have ripped us in half by now. Okay, well, you know what? We're just gonna shell the fucking docks, and we're gonna see exactly how much damage we can possibly do to a facility. We should be able... Yeah, we're just gonna be able to cruise right up next to this fucking thing. Uh, yeah, it, okay, directly in front. Actually, there's a crane there. Alright! Light that shit up! <laughs> yeah, this is incredibly inconvenient. I'm not even sure I'm hitting the crane and not just, like, the rock in front of it. Yeah! I don't think I was actually hitting the crane. I think I was just hitting the freaking seawall in front of it and wasting all that ammo. I'm oh, well. shifting to indirect fire mode. Well, I'm gonna... Okay, can you hit it from that way? Um, wherever that shell went, it went off into the fucking... Okay, well, fire it at the... Uh, fire it at the seaport building. Yeah, I'm gonna aim at the seaport building and... Um... Uh, yeah, I think I'm hitting the fucking interior of the island. Yeah, that site, I don't know what's going on with it. I'm gonna back up. I'm just gonna <laughs> back us up here to give you a bit of a chance here, because I don't know where those shells are going. They may be hitting orphanages. Uh, let's, uh, let's, let's not tempt fate here. Actually, maybe you can shoot... Well, actually, shoot the pier itself, not the fucking, like, the concrete. Yeah, good enough. That, okay, that, there we go. That should be good. So Collies, we... we're wrecking your fucking dock. Man, that reloads really fucking quickly. <laughs> okay. Once again, time to get on the front gun, because we'd have more people here, but... Nobody's available. Maybe they maybe they knew something we didn't. Yeah! Well, actually, that might be just damaged. Is that destroyed? Does that count as destroyed? Let me check the map. Nope, it's still actually owned by them. Fuck it. Keep shooting! Sir, I am down to 11 rounds. That's very worrying. I guess this is going to be our primary target for today. We're just going to crash this fucking dock and call it a day. The boating is incredibly jank, Argo. We, we, according to the map, we went on land at some point. Uh, 
I care. I think it's destroyed now. Uh, no. Really? I, you'd think that, but no. Okay, let me check the actual map. What does that say? No, it's still actually owned. Keep firing. Even in this incredibly... Yo. Guys, I think a flamethrower might be faster. Yeah, I'm out. Well, okay then. I guess I'm going to be sitting here filling it with 50 cal... This is really rather ineffective. And we've been blowing this up, and there's no sign of, like, any colleagues showing up to defend it. Well, granted, it's the dev server, so this is a simulated conflict with real simulated people that aren't fucking here. <laughs> yep. Real simulated war. I was honestly kind of waiting for, like, someone to show up because they're out here bored. They yep. hear the explosions and go, hey, we can actually simulate ship-on-ship -ship combat. Nope, no sign of anyone. Yeah, maybe it is a good thing we took 30 belts of 50 cal. Maybe we did need that. And yeah, as we can see here, uh, yeah, Iron, uh, that's my maximum traverse. That's completely fucking worthless. I hate that. I have no idea how much 50 ammo this is going to take, but 12.7 does damage things. But I think just torching it would have been faster. So just have Probably. a dude on the back of the boat with a flamethrower that just kind of leans over the side and burns shit. That probably would have been faster. Granted, you know, having, like, the foe breakers probably would have made this faster, but everyone stole the RPGs. I have no idea if I'm actually damaging this or not, but apparently, according to the map, it's still owned by Collies, which means it's still alive. And if you guess I'm delaying going back to port and <laughs> hazarding the bridges again for as long as possible, congratulations, you found me out. I do want to kill this, though. I mean, if we fucking can. Good lord. I mean, I know you can. I've seen broken docks before. I just forget what their max damage state looks like. Okay, so you fired all of our mortar ammunition at this thing. Yes. And it's not dead. Well, I fired a few rounds at the crane, and unfortunately it seemed like all the shots got eaten by that brick wall. Yeah. You, we killed the crane, though. I think that was mostly you. And here's the thing, these were the HE rounds. These were supposed to be good at damaging buildings. Well, they did, because apparently they took it down three pegs. I, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that it's on its last legs here as I blow all of our 12.7. <laughs> I'm any, any second now, any second now, the, the final, the final nail inside the building will give way and the whole structure will collapse. Any second now. Hitler talking to his generals about Russia. Any second now, they'll give up. I'm spreading the damage out. I don't think it's doing much, though. <laughs> wait, no, it's- wait, no, it's smoldering more! Actually, that may just be my hidden packs. That- that- that may just be me- but I, I'm- I'm giving the illusion that it's being damaged. I'm pretty sure at this point the barrel should have worn out on your MG. Probably. Yep, yeah, that's just... artsy smoke. Well, that's nice, I guess. Yes, it is, but it isn't telling me how long I, until the, the fucking docks collapsed. How, 
many belts of 50 do we have left? <laughs> this is rather comical. Granted, it's a very key structure for production, so I would expect it to be durable, but I don't think that, yeah, I, I, I don't think the 50 cal uh, ammunition is valid as a, uh, yeah, I, I don't think it, this is a valid form of damage. And it all, it may not be very effective against enemy gunboats either. Yeah, you yeah, bet, yeah, uh, hmm. I wish you could mount the 20 mil anti-tank rifle on it. That'd be useful. Good lord, I thought I, th I think we were I think we were more effective with the barges than this. Granted, it's probably because white ash grenades probably do way more fucking damage than this. Good lord, the sun's going down. <laughs> You mount a foe breaker or a bone saw on it? Yes, you can, but somebody took all the RPGs for the, the fucking foe breakers that I made. So, yeah, I don't think the 50 cal is going to be very useful for, you know, anything. So, yeah, take an RPG, add to that firepower. Uh, I mean, it, it might be useful for, like, my finger bards to pieces. My finger is getting very tired. If this was a rational conflict, we would have been intercepted by now. Yeah, we probably have a bunch of collies on the shoreline picking at us with 20 mils. Probably. For weapons. Yeah, probably. So, you'd need two gunboats to run up and blow this up, then. Alright, you know what? Executive fucking decision. We're, we're just gonna go now. <laughs> we're, we're just gonna go. <laughs> We're okay. gonna. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna blow up this this construction vehicle in ang. You know, in in in, in yo know, yo know, in uh in, in rage over uh how incredibly fucking durable this wooden shack is. So wait. Um. That, uh, is that us? Wait, nope. No, it's nope. going away. They don't care. <laughs> Shoot it. Shoot the guns, let's get into a fight with something. Oh, that works. Okay, that yeah, okay. works, but wh why is it not that effective against the fucking building? <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. That, that was, that, uh, good lord. Uh, yeah, sure, the building's, uh, you know, made of building materials, but that, 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 that CV wouldn't that's... be better than a, you know, a civilian structure. <laughs> Yeah, this seems a little absurd how fucking tough this dock was. Okay, we're just gonna go. Okay, so... Uh, I'm gonna be honest, I wish we had run into something out here so we had a freaking chance to at least test how durable this thing is. Okay, well, like, we're even gonna... if it was a bunch of bargemen. Okay, we used half of our fucking 50 cal ammunition doing that. <laughs> Okay, well, and Iron, the... well, well, Iron, uh, since the turret doesn't have any ammo, uh, transition to the front gun, I guess. Oh, God, Lord. Oh, oh, no, no, oh, no, 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 Okay, I'm, I'm mounted onto the back. We'll just oh, okay. stay here. Okay, go, for, go to the forward one. That's probably slightly more useful. Okay. These are, they definitely don't seem to be very stable anything platforms. Oh, wait, there's a freaking... Okay, I figured out where the pipes are. They're feeding up from something on the bottom. Also, there's a locker here with rifles in it. Isn't that neat? Uh, can you access it? No. Okay, that's just a physical representation of the inventory, but we can't actually carry rifles on the boat because the boat has no inventory. <laughs> yeah, that's a little weird. Again, I hate the fact that we've only got like a 45 firing angle with these guns, even though it's on a fucking ring. You would, you would think they would make sense there, but... You'd think they part they if they were gonna do the redesign they they do it that way but I I guess not. Okay, I guess we're gonna just sail away now. <laughs> we have completely disrupted their organization and infrastructure here. Yes. We've succeeded in our mission. 
We've, we've successfully destroyed several civilian construction vehicles and severely damaged a dock. Hooray! Also, it seems like the majority of people are on the upper side of the map with the newly updated islands and stuff, so... Yeah, but I figure we might be... We don't know where we're going to be operating either shore, but uh, I figured stick to stick to here since it's familiar, but... Uh... Yeah, some some stuff went a little sideways on this side of the map, I think. Very sideways. The map apparently being outdated by several hundred years because there are fucking land oh. masses here oh, wait. that wait should, wait should... there are land masses here that should not fucking exist, considering. I can't that shoot over That crane is apparently friendly. Is it? Wait, what? <laughs> That's a colonial what? camp out there! What do you mean, friendly? <laughs> I am restricted from using weapons. Now I'm just... I, you know what? I'm just incredibly confused. I'm going home now. Can we sink that barge? Man, this is incredibly underwhelming, and I feel like the barge was limited, but more focused. And in a way, more fun. Yes. So these are jank and not very good. I think they need to make some adjustments to the behavior of certain weapons now that they can mount them on ships. Because um, this is... This is stupid. I'm firing it into the water line of this barge. And it doesn't even look like the barge is taking damage. I I also saw heard mention that on the barge's wiki page that it said air quote quotes would won't last long under twelve point seven fire. Uh huh. Why won't you die? This is... This barge has nanomachines. Once again, we're entering a never-ending nightmare that we cannot wake up from. What has... What has happened? What's going on with this dev server? This I'll be honest, this is fucking hilarious, but at the same time, I want to blow something up, damn it! Uh, okay, we still have 12 belts of 50. Break, damn you! It's not even showing signs of being damaged. I think that just may not if be... If you guys want to keep going, I can start cooking some RPGs and mortars. It, see if it's even real. I, I suppose, but it's deployed on the land. What land? Okay, it, it, it's a physical object, but you know what? We're just going to go. We're, we're just going to go. It, yeah, Argo, we're, we're, we're actually... What, what is... What's squad chat? Argo, we're coming back to port. We're switching... A, we'll, G... We'll We'll try- oh, right. Also, I'm watching the stream, so you can just talk normally. Right. We're coming back to port, so yeah, get those RPGs. Those might improve the situation. Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Ah! Run away! Run away! <laughs> Quick! Iron! Get to the rear gun! <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God! I'm good! <laughs> Hopefully they're so absolute, they're just as incompetent as we are. Hopefully they're so incompetent they won't be able to turn around and catch up with us in time. That boat looked much more fucking intimidating than ours, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, they had fucking five people on it. They're probably dangerous. We're, we're, we're leaving now. We're just gonna go. 
Oh god, land. Oh no. Wait, what? <laughs> okay then. <laughs> sure, whatever. I don't fucking know anymore. I, 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 I also do not know anymore, because this is... I mean, that would have been great, like, 20 minutes ago. We still had ammo. We could have engaged in an honorable duel. But, fuck. This feel... Uh, this... It, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be entirely honest. This, this feels... I would not go into combat with this, with this ship. This is actually awful. <laughs> I'd rather the barge. Really, I would. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, God. I would really rather the barge. This is... It's probably more durable, but we couldn't actually repair it at sea, so good luck if we actually get the sable or something. Uh, the defenses are absolutely terrible, aside from the main gun, which carries fuck all ammunition if we want to accomplish something. Uh, the, the, the pintle mounts have plenty of space for ammo, but the problem is they also have no traverse whatsoever. Fonto, the map is getting even more fucking jank. What? What do you... What? The, oh my god. Them. Oh, 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 oh my god. Oh, oh, oh no! What's going on? I, um... Guys, uh, we, we're gonna get back to the, get back to port and rearm with, uh, whatever we can, and, uh, we're gonna sail back out and see if we can find some other people, but, guys, I think this stream may be short-lived. Fuck. We may, we, we may not make it back to port by the time the server crashes, because it looks like we're headed there. Dear God, are we headed in that direction? But, uh, yeah, these gunboats, um, who do they need work? They don't carry enough ammunition. We don't really have any space to do anything other than carry ammunition for our secondary guns, which seem like a better... Seems like it's a better idea to carry more ammo for the secondary guns than the main guns. Somehow. I'm I'm not as certain it's an ammo issue as much as oh, a damage is that, value issue. Is that land, or is it, yo, a mirage? Oh god, that actually is land. I don't even fucking know anymore, Bob. <laughs> is that actually land, or is it, or is it metaphysical land? Actually, this area is actually updated prop. What the fuck is going on with what, what, what? I I, I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, um, so, the Malones don't seem to do any damage, and now we know the Malone, uh... Yeah, we don't have to worry about machine gun fire on the barge, because, uh, barge is fine. I mean, maybe? Maybe those boats had just reached maybe. peak jank and it stopped existing on a maybe. metaphysical level. Maybe. Maybe they were there, but they weren't actually there. I mean, I don't think you can deploy the ramp unless you are actually touching land. So, yes. I think those barges, um... Somehow, someone fucked them up so badly, they entered a rift in reality. Yes. Making them invulnerable, but also making them completely unusable. Yes, they, they, uh, oh, oh good lord. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> good lord! Oh. Uh oh. Hey, hey, friendly, friendly, relax, good lord. Okay, so we found allies, and apparently they are engaged in combat, so perhaps if we want to, um... Are they being... are they shooting? I think they were just shooting at us. Yeah, it's because we came rolling out of the dark, but it's pretty clear... Actually, they're still shooting at something. Hang on. No, wait, no, they, they are shooting at something. Uh... I can't see it, but they're, they're, they're doing something. Yeah, I think there is something out there, because it looks like they're engaging it forward. It I, might be the ship from earlier. Stop so I can get on the forward gun. Yeah, you do that? I get, oh, actually, no, they're over there. Okay. Eh. It won't let me through the fucking door. Oh, good lord. Oh, they, they lost a Man overboard! Man overboard! I can't... I... What the... F the please stop moving the boat. I am so... I'm, tr <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm I'm trying to save the stream. Hello, sir. You're walking dead out of the fucking midship. My, my first mate is... My first mate is just glitching through the center of the boat, but we, we've come to rescue you. 
Uh, go, go near the rear gun. You could probably hit Q on there. Actually, wait a minute. Hang on. Oh. Oh, oh no. I think he drowned. I, I, I squad locked the boat so he couldn't get in. Well, we tried. Yeah. That is unfortunate. Damn shame. <laughs> what a... What, what a, a tragedy. What a time it was. No friends left to turn to. Not even this fucking cursed boat. So yeah, these are, um... Shit, these, the boats are probably more dangerous to us than they are to the enemy. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. I mean, I think the enemy gets a better deal because they actually get a large boat that they can put multiple crew on. Also, they don't have it. they don't have this strange otherworldly like space in the center of the boat that may or may not eat you or deny you entry. They just have a fucking river boat. Yeah, or fucking if the boat's even moving slightly, it causes you to moonwalk back out the door against your will. Something, yeah, something tells me that the Kali <laughs> boat is probably in a better state than this thing is right now. Interesting idea, having the internal space. The only problem is everything else about the boat seems to be atrociously broken. And think, I'm ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this, this update comes out in, or supposed to come out in two weeks? Less than? This is going to be an interesting yeah. update. I don't even want to imagine the jank that'll happen when we get submarines. Yeah, that, we will probably... <laughs> it's, we're we're going to have moments where we we, uh, we, uh, we we dive underwater and then proceed to um, rocket Not up to the... Not stop sinking. Rocket up to the... Uh, to the um, rocket up to the top of the skybox suddenly. Uh, rocket all the way down to the bottom of the map and instantly die to crush depth. <laughs> I would not, like, with the state of this thing, that, that would not phase me if we, that happened the first time out in submarines. I, I can, honestly, I, this is what I expect. Oh, We're man. reaching armor levels of accidentally bumping two fucking vehicles together causes them both to spontaneously so, explode. So, allegedly, you can sink the gunboat with a fire truck. Is not amused. You can, you can sink the gunboat with a fire truck. By flooding it? As in the, <laughs> Yes. My God, the technology! <laughs> <laughs> Who needs guns? Just fucking use a fire hose on it; it'll sink. Ah, uh, yes, the the water elemental flamethrower. <laughs> <laughs> no, the freaking hydro pump. I didn't. Oh, yeah. I didn't. Ex I didn't suspect it, but clearly the uh, the Foxhole Dev team has decided to uh, re represent water benders. <laughs> By allowing them to sink ships. <laughs> Truly, the greatest enemy of the Fire Nation was the Waterbenders. That's why Zhao tried to kill the Moon. This feels totally justified. No, this 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 feels like all those arguments, like with like wizard RPGs, where it's like and like could uh, who who would win a, a wizard or Goku? Well, the wizard wins because he turns Goku's blood into mercury instantly. This kind of it's kind of the Water Nation wins because it floods all the fucking boats with water and they instantly sink. The end. <laughs> oh my god this is um i expected some jank but you know the first phase having nothing in it was uh you know it's kind of telling now but it lulled me into a full sense of security why are oh, they yeah. waiting so long why are they starting the server without actually adding any of the content what could possibly be the prop oh yes it's um they it's only just managed to work the very worst of the jank out. And what we're left with is only moderate jank. And How nice are, of them. Why are these boats susceptible to flooding anyway? It's not like we have a... What are we going to bail out? What are we going to fix? How are we going to fix any leaks? We can't fix any leaks! How the fuck are we going to do anti-flooding? Yeah, I'm actually curious to know how much damage we took when they hit us with that cannon. I didn't, I didn't see oh, the- Oh god, not the bridge again! Bump. Okay. It's over there. Okay. Yeah, good, the bridge is still open. We, mm. Land bridge it probably isn't, but... <laughs> oh, good lord. Yeah, I think we need a little bit of adjustment for the- 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 the... 
turn rate. Yeah, the turn rate going forward. Backward. It's almost better to sail the fucking boat backwards, but I'm exposed then, and that's a terrible idea. I narrowly got shot as the colleague boat was passing us. They aimed at me, yeah. and they didn't hit me, thank God. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll try. All right, hang on here. Let me, let me position this better. I, well, I say better, but you're going to be still... The wall is trying to eat me. Good lord. Yeah, if the boat even moves slightly, it fucks with... It fucks with me. Yeah, it's a grand old idea for gunboats, but... Goodness gracious. Okay. <laughs> Go nuts. I'm, Wish I'm, me luck. I, oh, I am almost certain the collie boat is probably way less buggy than this. Purely for the fact that it's not trying to do anything cute. Oh, thank god. Okay, the ladder works. Um, Iron, don't be alarmed, but you're vaulting up the ladder. <laughs> uh, hmm. You were doing the vaulting animation rather than climbing. That was interesting. Thank God. We have Thank God, thank God we are free. Oh God, the boat ate me! Okay, should be able to get on the back on. <laughs> the boat ate me for a second, then deposited me back by the side of the freaking wall. Okay, thank wall. God. <laughs> I thought that I was going to die. You will take damage <laughs> if you remain under this bridge. I don't want to remain near anything. I think I'm going to take... I'm taking damage to my soul just existing right now. <laughs> The server architecture is eroding away at my very existence. I don't think it really matters. Okay, the map fixed itself. Um, okay, so we can't enter the Stilicon shelf or else the rest of the map stops working. Okay, Argo, we have returned to port. We are just outside. Oh my god. Well, I guess I we- I, I guess we attempt to reload the boat. Apocalypse Now has nothing on the boat ride we just went through. Yeah, that... Mm. <laughs> Every... <laughs> Every... We, we built the bridge, and then, then the collies blow it up. Every day we rebuild the bridge, and every night the collies blow up the bridge again. <laughs> this, except it was that fucking pier that we were shooting at for, like, ten solid minutes. I've moved over to Discord. <laughs> The so fucking you can just nano machine drag me in. Okay, hang on. So we don't have to use Foxhole oh, no. chat. <laughs> the barge caught in a freaking split in time and space. Hey, wow, I actually threaded the needle for the rock. Wow. That, that was I did that by entirely by accident. This is incredibly dangerous though, but we will attempt to get onto the boat. Or onto the pier. Carefully as kept very care okay, that should be good. I hope. Drop, drop anchor. Set mooring lines. I, I can't fall. I can't fall out. I, I can't. Oh my god. Oh wait, no, there we go. Smash spacebar, and the boat will release you. At a diagonal, apparently. Okay. Uh. Well. Um. How do we take the guns off? Okay, so I can repair now. Oh, right. Detached tripod weapon. Then let me just... Just fucking leave it there. Ooh! That one hit we sustained took off... Took us down to 72%. What? Yeah, that one hit we took from the freaking... Um... Collie boat took us down to 72. That's... Oh dear god, that's abysmal. Yeah, again, I'd rather engage in the barge. We probably have similar chances of survival, but the boat may be actually able to do something. One direct hit with that I... fucking cannon they had took us down 28%. That's... Amazing. Minutes on the RPGs. <clears throat> Alright, we, we, we're in the far left dock, I think, or rather the far west. We are fixing the boat, and I'm taking, the, I'm taking the MGs off their mounts. I can come pick you up. Detach. Ammo slot okay. must be empty. Oh, oh no. Oh, well, now we have to get rid of all the... Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, 
have to dump all the ammo. <laughs> Unable to drop item here on the vehicle. Oh my god. It's good. Okay, I'm recovering some of the ammo. And putting it in the shipyard. Okay, this is extraordinary. Okay. I'd like to I'd like to get out of the boat, please. I'd like to I'd like to be free of the boat. <laughs> Come on, I wait, would like to be free of the I haven't seen my home in months. <laughs> okay. I'll deposit it in this truck. Is this this? No. Okay, leave that shit there. Now I can actually take probably... There we go. So I'm oh. depositing the supplies in the safe house. All and right. hoping they don't just take everything. Okay, well, I'll go get more mortar ammunition. Oh, that is not my... All right, I... Hello, sir. It's on the other dock all the way on the side. Further up the road. I think. Yeah, uh, yes. Good. Uh. Which. Now here's the amazing game of which fucking scene am I in? You can also just hit control and yeah, number. Yeah. There we go. Uh. So, there are only four mortar shells left. Actually, these are flares. Someone took all the mortar ammunition. Probably yeah, we're about to need more. Okay. All right, Ar Argo, what did you bring? I didn't bring anything. I just have RPGs cooking. Oh, okay. Um, three crates, so that's 45. Okay, okay, there's foe breakers still here, I think, or one or two, so that's fine. We'll just put those on the boat. Okay, I guess I'm, I'm going to make more mortar shells. Be right back. That's a bus. <clears throat> boat fuel's in half. Oh, well, there's plenty of fuel around. Random flares. They're very pretty, however... Okay. There are some mortar shells left in the upper building. We'll oh. gra grab them, put them on the boat. Yeah, there were just three. Why would... St why in God's name would... Why would we need more... Why would we need flare shells? Increase your sight range in um, nighttime. Yeah, it helps mark targets in the dark at night. I mean, I suppose, but at at sea, that might be minimally effective. Uh, oh God! Ow! Traffic accident. Yeah, because because as you can see, vehicles through the darkness, but you can't see uh, players through the darkness. So players are kind of eh. Mm. And since everything at sea is going to be a vehicle, I mean, yeah, we can see the boats. We can't really tell if there's anybody in them. Well, if they're moving. Okay, I have... Yeah, we don't have any more EMATs. I've got to go get more scrap. Okay. More scrap, more scrap. And I'll probably get another Q going.
Cooking. Did you say to a uh, squad or personal? Personal. Hmm. No, what should we call it? You're probably gonna need those since you're doing the same thing, so I'll set it to uh actually it's only personal and public. I have no squad option. Oh. Odd. Yeah, but is that is is there a squad option? There sh I don't is think there, there is. As far as, as I, I recall, if you send it to personal, it will be tied to everyone in the group, so everyone what? in B, E, double O. Oh, okay. Good. I didn't know if they added that. Nope. I don't, think you can, I don't think you can set a personal one without being, like, a member of a group, because it's like the group's shared space. Oh, a uh, plan or whatever. Yeah. Right, that shit. Shark is trying to turn into an onion. Yeah, I saw a bit of her PowerPoint presentation today. It was very interesting. I like that I was on it with only the word yes and nothing else. <laughs> Go in there. Well, mm. okay, so how many e mats do we need for mortar shells? I think it's ten per crate. Let me see here. It is 35 per crate. Mm. Oh, actually, there's some here. So good. Okay. Thirty-five, forty, 40, right, 35, 35, 70s. That's enough for two crates. We need more. Oh, time to get How much is in each crate? Uh, 15 shells. We only need two crates. Right, because we only carry 30. Right, okay. Mm -hmm. Unless you want to make shrapnel. I don't think we're going to need that. I don't think... I think if we have to switch ammo in the middle of a fight, we may be screwed. Because there's, you know, killing the deck crew, but I don't think that the guy in the turret counts as deck crew. <laughs> Nope. So He's going to fully encase her. So I think we uh, just have to sink the whole boat. I don't actually think the gunboats are large enough to incur um, flooding. I think it just explodes at a certain point. Well, evidently you can sink one with a fire ex yeah, with a fire engine, so that means that water coming into the boat does actually affect the boat. That, or it's a bugged interaction. Water causes damage. Oh no. <sighs> okay, well, here are these. I'm just making two boxes, so we got that. Uh, if you have spare E mats, I'll just take those. 27. I got some more cooking, but they're, they're slowly ticking in. The Eternity I'm, I'm... Dust. Yep. EMATS forever remains that most painful of resources to acquire. Okay, two minutes on our crates of mortars.
I should have no four. Two Ooh. more crates of RPGs. I think we also carry 30 RPGs for the whole boat, I think. Uh, I'd expect it to be per turret. Uh, it didn't appear so. Hmm. It appeared that they were, we were sharing, such? we were sharing, you know, both belts of, you know, both, uh, you know, both guns of fifties were being shared, uh, when they were using the, sh the same shared ammo cache. Well, I'll cook more anyway, just in case. I mean, yeah, you want to make a stockpile. That way you can quickly reload rather than wait. We're gonna go out there and that- we're, we're gonna go out there and we're gonna see exactly what we can get into in the gunboat, but this is... very clearly currently worse than just using a barge. Maybe. It could just be that the cannons are absurdly effective against sea vessels that are not forked. That also... That possibly, the RPGs will probably help, but now we know that the guns are only minimally effective as point defense, and so this is why we're going to put RPGs all over the boat. We might as well actually Don't kill the target. Nuts. We might as well actually kill the target that we're shooting at rather than trying to kill the crew. Question, where is the other boat? The one that had the freaking RPG launchers on it. What do you mean the other boat? Weren't there two? No, there was only one. No. We had the supplies for two. Okay, 50 more EMATs sitting in the refinery if you need them. Yeah, I'll grab those real quick. Okay. I've got the crate of mortar, right? I got these in here. Right? Good, okay. I didn't hallucinate that or anything. Okay, going back. I'll grab my foe, some foe breakers on my way down. If I can find them. Have to make some. Should I have the material? Good. Interesting. Okay, that's our mortar shells here. Let me just stock them in the bot in the truck and bring them over. So these wouldn't take too long to continuously resupply, but it's a shame that the boat goes through them so quickly. It may just be that the boat's not designed for actually destroying structures. I mean, why not bring a barge along? I mean, because we don't this have any. Ship. We don't have people. That's the thing. We don't have people. Yeah. 
we can bring that stuff along to actually, you know, supply at sea and, like, be a, you know, extremely kind of jank oiler, but we don't have any people here currently. Mm hmm Guys, that's the thing about all of this. It's incredible. Yeah, we've got an incredibly simple operation that we could get going and, uh, you know, utilize with, the, uh, you know, not too much effort, but we, we need people to be, you know, filling positions. Okay. Okay. Something Two, to keep in mind. Minutes on the breakers. I mean, hell, this stuff is this this stuff isn't even that hard to produce. It's just that we don't have anybody playing Foxhole currently. Okay. 18. So I need 12 more. Again. And I think I have some... I think there are foe breakers still here. Let me grab one. I think. Uh, I am not seeing any on the map. I made them earlier. People may have stolen them already. Wait, no, there's one. Unless you're in the shipyard, there's one. There is one. Key thing to keep in mind, you cannot quick swap seats on the boat. Immersion. Yes, you have to walk through the never-ending horror that is the interior of the boat and hope it doesn't consume you whole. Or eject you out into the, you know, the fucking, the frigid north. This is a blood sacrifice to Poseidon. Seven, twelve, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and eleven, mm. twelve. Twelve, okay, we're good. <clears throat> Conveniently, someone left a public line of foe breakers. Hmm. Nice when they do that. I'm just going to steal those. <laughs> People are requisition. We're all the key difference. We are all sharing a brain cell currently. <laughs> Deploy. Well, actually, I have to get to the side of the boat. Oh, I suppose. There we go. One foe breaker on the bow. Lovely. And then maybe put the flamethrower on the back. That way, if anyone tries to hug our rear, they get set on fire. Well, it would be that would be a good idea, but we don't have any fuel for that. Right. Also, we, we need a facility flame, for that. Uh, Flamethrower is not um, tripod. Hmm. It's handheld. Well, and actually, we... well, yeah, we still, <laughs> if if we would ha be able to hazard somebody on the deck, we'd have somebody on the deck with a flamethrower just kind of poking it over the side. Probably still work. Once you know, the physics aren't so jank that you get pushed off the boat for standing on the boat while it's in motion. Even slightly. Yep, okay. Actually, we, we can hold 10 RPGs for one gun. That probably doubles when we have two. But okay. All right, that's the mortar shells. We're waiting on you, Argo. So, we can hold 14. 10, uh, excuse me, 24. 24. 20 in, the, 20 in the inventory, 4 in the guns. Ah, right. Didn't think of that. 20 plus 4. Actually, yeah, um, probably just the mortar cannon. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so hang on here. Yeah, load that shit up and throw another one in there for good luck. Oh, I'm being raided. Oh no! Hello, hello, gen ladies and gentlemen. Okay. See how many people are in here now watching us be autistic? Eighty-three. Well, welcome. Find a seat. We are hazarding the wonders of. Foxhole's new update, which doesn't have half the shit in it that it's supposed to be, but we got a gunboat, and it, dear god, it's jank. You were around earlier, but thank you again. Yes, I saw your wonderful presentation, Shark. The, the amazing <laughs> defense, uh, you know, a PowerPoint presentation. 
I'd love to get off the boat, please! Let me out! Actual... <laughs> Let me out! Actually, Fonto, there's an idea. We get shark lit in on this. That be that would be good. It's just that I'd like to actually well actually, you know what? The barges work better than this, honestly. So you know what? <laughs> hey Shark, wanna be a barge pirate? <laughs> it's fun. You annoy people. <laughs> and the game is only 30 bucks. Right, okay, so uh one more mortar shell, which is a net one. Shark, it's already a butt pirate. <laughs> nice. Hey, well, wait a minute. That's not what we said. Don't take things out of context. Maid dresser broke. I agree wholeheartedly. <laughs> okay, hang on here. Uh, Explain. Wait. Explain. Wait. <laughs> wait. I reloaded the... Wait, no, it didn't fucking load. Okay. It's, it's loaded now. There we go. It unloaded itself magic. This 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 gunboat is a very interesting thing. Having trouble there, Argo? Yes. Hit B. Hmm. There we go. Yes, the game is a bit. Now we just need to load RPGs. Okay, if the boat will let us go. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Okay. Now we need to load the RPGs. I need to get my gear back. Right, okay, so my, my, well, actually, do, don't I already have a, no, I don't. Why don't I, oh, right, because I had the binoculars. Okay, and actually, we won't need to repair B mats because we can't fix it at sea for some mystifying reason. God help us all. So how's the piracy? Get any booty? Well, we engaged a bunch of facilities that were standing still in a simulated attack. We didn't get much done aside from blow up a couple of, uh, you know, abandoned uh, construction vehicles. We did have a Kali gunboat pass us and take off a quarter of our health in a single hit, though. We were out of ammo, so we immediately left. So, um, we'll see what we can do now that we have, um, you know, dual RPGs on the, f the, the bow and the stern and also are fully loaded with the mortar cannon. We'll see what kind of trouble we can get into. And we have, uh, well, we've got three people, so we can have one of the guns operating and then... Uh, predictably, when that one target passes, you know, past the bow, the person in the front gun can run to the back of the, the boat and hopefully be able to hit something. Hopefully. Also, Fonto, shall we demonstrate the cursed gullet of this beast? Well, n w wait until it's fully re reloaded. Wait until we're done with servicing. Okay. And actually, get on these and reload them now. Mm -hmm. uh, Drill them individually. Yeah, right. There we go. I Two. do believe. Right. Okay, front one's loaded. Iron, you got the other one? Yeah. Also, holy smokes. You can fire this thing out a remarkably long distance compared to on land. Well, good. We'll probably that that'll probably save our lives more than the mortar cannon will. I don't know. The mortar cannon can fire out to a hundred meters. I would love to get off the boat today. There's no fucking ladder or gangplank here. Yeah, there. that's <laughs> the shipyards always you know, like. Well, the what you call not the shipyards, but the the seaports all, always struck me as very strange. Like they're very dangerous and. Barely designed to be used. Okay, so are we good? Okay, we're fully loaded. All right, we don't need these more more. Actually, well, I could carry more mortar shells. I'm not encumbered, and we're not taking ammo anyway. Yeah, All right. I suppose. Well, I, well, not the mortar shells, but the RPGs. But yeah, but, just for the sake of our new audience here, let's demonstrate the jank that is... What happens if you are not mounted in the vessel? Already, the ship's not flooded, but as you can see, Fonto's acting like he's wading through deep water. Yeah, because the bottom of the boat is clipping through the water, and we're we're currently knee deep in water, even though we're standing in the boat. It's uh, yeah. Now and I'm sli. I can't. I I can't move now. And Argo is being drawn to the front. Oh dear God! I face to the wind. No, come back! Come back! <laughs> 
See you later, sucker! Refugees! <laughs> Iron, you schmuck, get back here! Oh god, this thing has an issue with inertia. Yeah, oh, so, uh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, you see that pre-release tag at the bottom, uh, yo, at the, the top right? Yeah, the, the, this update earns that. Okay. <laughs> I, get off the, it's get a... off the damn wheels, this is my boat. <laughs> get back in the goddamn turret, you monkey. Nope. <laughs> Not until you have sat down and I could put us back to the freaking... I dock. said get off my boat! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. All right, now we're good, we're fueled up, we're loaded, let's get tr let's try and hazard going back out to sea. Mm. Yeah, the, um, the turrets share a magazine. Yeah, which is very odd, but we have plenty I mean, of RPGs, so we should be all they right. They do and they don't. Each space has got, like, ten rounds, so if we had one foe breaker and the other one was, like, a machine gun... We'd only have 10 spare rounds oh. instead of 20. I'm going to hope that no one has dropped the bridge or we're in for a, a wild ride. <laughs> yeah, I caught that left. So yeah, we're on the dev server and this is the um, the the second second phase of the new update that, that's going to be slowly rolling out. Tomorrow, battleships are being introduced and God help us all. Though we're probably not going to see anybody, it, it see anybody have one because okay. no one's going to have any resources. So yeah, battleships are coming in on the 13th. Or they're scheduled to. Oh no! Oh, no! 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 Okay, good. We bounced off. Getting ready to fight the war. Okay, we're good. Right? Sorry about that. Forever. Thank you for the ten dollars, sir. But yes, we're we're ready to fight the war, and we're gonna do something. But yeah, battleships. The the, the magic boxes with all the resources aren't being put in, so. I don't know how they're going. I don't know how anyone's going to be making any battleships, but good luck to you. Get shot at. We got shot at once. And it was already pretty dicey. Yeah, we didn't Bridges have any ammo again. Left. Oh, dear lord. Argosa, it's your turn. Oh. Uh, uh, <laughs> stop the boat! There we go. Yeah, this thing's got an issue okay. with inertia. Oh, well. Goodbye, RPGs, because I'm not bringing these with me into the water. <laughs> Never mind, I can't drop those. Well, shit. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Gentlemen, please hold. We are attempting to navigate the bridge as well. Yeah, yeah I don't need to do that. Okay, amazing there we go. feature, right? Being yeah. Able to open the bridge from the seat. Yes, an this amazing is feature. This is Le Vision. Yes, I... Have you tried, uh... Have you tried the, uh... Wait, the bone saw on these? No, one's... no we have not. Believers. It gets the max theoretical range. Interesting. Bridge is up. I don't so know. You get I don't know why I said that over in game chat. Five to 50 meters, depending on what you're shooting at. Okay. All right, well, um, can you leap down, Argo? Uh, go to the other side, let the other guys pass. Okay. Um, I should be able to climb down to the rocks over here to the left. There's a ladder over here as well, but yeah, you should... Hang on, come, up, come over there and get you. See you later, alligator. So I don't want to get my feet wet. I, I, I'm oh no. Really, oh, oh no. Uh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Uh, I'm stuck. Uh, uh, okay, there we go. I, I thought I crushed you there for a second. That was rather harrowing. Okay, you should be able to hit Q. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, we have made it out. Thank God. So you can't run people so, yeah, over the that... boat? You probably could, but we have made it out of port. Thank God. That aiming radius. Garbage. Yeah, I know. Yeah. What, what an amazing feature having that turret ring and not using any of it. As that man said, that is truly visionary. Modeling something painstakingly and then not actually utilizing it as a feature. How Meanwhile, brave and daring. Meanwhile, this turret can spin 360 degrees and at a remarkably fast rate for something that looks like it was built in 
1921. It's pr yeah, it's probably manually fucking cranked. Or maybe it's steam power. You know, let's give him a little credit. Shinji, <laughs> Shinji, crank it, soldier boy. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna go back out to sea and see if we can go find somebody like that Kali gunboat. There's, there's clearly people roving around testing the gunboats, so we'll see if we can actually get into a fight oh. with one of them. As we have seen, okay, uh, anti-sub, yo, anti-structure work is hit or miss, but I'm shh. Again, I get the feeling that this is why we have combined arms with a barge crew carrying flamethrowers and satchel charges to blow up things. An LTV cause... that just kind of roll, rolls on shore and again hoses down buildings with flamethrowers. <laughs> a lot of utility Marines. in that. Send in the trained arsonists and murderers from the prisons. We could do a lot of, uh, a lot as pirates doing minor raids to just drive up to an island, break everything on it, and fucking leave before anyone responds. We could do a lot, we just need more people to operate the, you know, the, the actual machinery. We only need, like, a handful more, like, maybe, like, five, ten people overall, and we could actually get ourselves to, you know, get ourselves a very nice-looking pirate fleet that's actually probably pretty effective in causing, you know, you know, rather large losses of material at sea. We could probably do that. However, this, the, uh, the gunboats require some assist at Ned. There is the map boundary I am trying to avoid and I am failing. I need to go to the other corner of the hex. No, actually, we encountered them in the Stakilikin Shelf. I think Somewhere. if we go back in there, we're more likely to run into bad dude. Actually, it says there is a enemy vehicle somewhere. Yeah, there's an enemy vehicle out um, at Sega. Uh, there is a motor... Is that our motorcycle from the other day? <laughs> Wait a minute. Is that... Hey, that... What? Hmm. That be, that may be the motorcycle that phased off our barge the other day. We found it, and now it's gone. <laughs> yeah, just casual foxhole moments there. Sad, like <laughs> we tried to use a motorcycle's two free inventory slots on a barge. It worked until the the, the motorcycle phased off the deck. I mean, don't you remember that one time? way back when we ended up in the Bermuda Barge situation. Yep, the map's broken again. whoop de fucking do um, Amazing landmass technology here. Man, look at this terrain. It's like Ace Combat <laughs> 6. It's like that geo-mapping shit. Map's fine on my end. Uh, doesn't look fine on my end. Granted, yeah. I had to install another update before I launched. You know what? You oh. probably got all the fixes then. That probably explains some things. Okay, so if we go north, northeast to Den of Thieves, Quartet of Islands, we may run into some people out there. Okay, Maybe. North. They might just be leftover trucks on the island. Argos is in enemy hands. There's a very good chance that's an enemy's. Well, hang on. Well, I suppose it's worth sailing around over there, so we'll we'll make the turn around the island and go over there. Uh, the uh, I'm gonna have to navigate by mini map. But yes, we're fighting on the warden's side. We, I'm starting to think we may have made a mistake in that one with this gunboat, but this, we've get submarines, allegedly. Does your main gun use regular mortar shells? Yes, it uses regular mortar shells. So does the Kali gunboat. You, 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 you have a complement of 30 of them. Well, 31 you lost you... the ability to lob 120s with the old ones, but the new ones have mortars. Two firing modes, uh, both GBS. Well, whatchamacallit. Yeah, you get, you get direct and indirect fire. I'm currently in direct and indirect fire because you can see the gun elevating and depressing as I shift the distance. It's, you know, it, it's seemingly nice. It runs through its ammo a little bit quick, though, and we took a hit from a Kali gunboat and we took lost a fucking quarter of our health while running away. One has to hope that we can do the same to them, and consider I, we got a bow breaker on the front, maybe yeah, we, we can kill them before they kill us. Yes, we would, we, would, we would hope that we'd be able to zap something like that. Okay. Make the turn.
platform in front of us isn't owned, but it's probably surrounded by more derelict barges, so we should probably stay away from them. Another thing we discovered that people seem to think is a good idea is surrounding offshore platforms with barges to create a barrier against invading it. Something tells me they're they're just there because they logged off the server and they don't give a shit. That may not be an actual strat. I mean, if it's jank enough and it prevents the thing from being used... I mean, maybe, possibly, but maybe they'll... Maybe they'll increase seawater erosion to get rid of the ships faster. <laughs> it's really lovely to be able to see fucking anything, but I don't have any binoculars, and standing on this boat is kind of a bad idea. Right. And now Argosa should be north, northwest. Okay, right, okay. Yeah, I see a <laughs> watchtower. I think your ship is taking on water. No, we're just casually phasing through the water. It's just cosmetically decks awash. Yeah, they, they, need to, they need to adjust the effect or how high the boat rides in the water. Yeah, I think it's a. I, I think it's purely an issue of how high it is because the interior is... Wait a minute, I hear something. Wait, no, just waves. I think because the interior is technically below water and that, I, that maybe isn't working out as well as I thought it was. Uh, I need to go wide. Oh god. Oh no. No. Wait, no, wait, no. wait, no, no, we're, 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 we're no. sliding. We're sliding. Wait. No. Power! <laughs> Power! You just gotta get the plates. Come oh, on. No. We just gotta get off the fucking <laughs> sand bar. No. Wait. In case of... In case it wasn't clear, this boat does not fucking turn. Oh, you've got to like... be fucking kidding me. Ugh! <sighs> Wait! We still got some motion. So hang on here, maybe I can wiggle us off the sandbar. Wait! Not that you can fucking see that shit, good lord! Wait, come on! Come on, you big stupid fucking- Wait, there we go, okay, we're good. Come Put on, us in reverse. I think that might work better. I'm trying, because the- uh, I'm assuming that the propellers are on the back of the boat, and that might drag us back off of it. That's assuming that's been simulated like that. I would I really hope that it is. Come on. Come on, stop blowing fucking bubbles and get us off the fuck. You've got to be kidding me. You can't even see the shore from that, <laughs> too. Wait a minute. Come on, twist. Twist. Come We're fucking stuck. The nose of the boat is fucking stuck where it is. What the fuck? Oh, dear. I'm making it worse. I'm, I'm making it worse. Are we going to be like 360 degree ro rotating on whatever the fuck we're standing on? Boat stuck. Boat stuck! Oh, you got to be kidding me. Are we proper stuck now? Uh, we may be. Uh, does slash unstuck do anything? Yes. It takes a minute, though. Okay, so... I have given the call to the gods. There's a way to do it. Poseidon, save us! No, it doesn't work like that. Not, not like that. There's a way to do it. <laughs> gods of the seas! Hear my call! Just push it with the fishing boat. Assuming that's unlocked. Oh, God you know damn what? It. Fine. Actually, yeah, the motorboat. <laughs> Bonk. Bonk. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, my God. What the fuck is the load lifting capacity of that fucking rowboat? Holy shit. <laughs> We're moving! <laughs> Push! Yeah! Okay, just... That just shouldn't have worked like that, but fuck it. We're s saved. 
amazing. But yeah, no, just just give islands as wide a berth as we can afford, particularly at top speed. Well, good so good to know that nobody came to ambush us, but maybe actually, yeah, in addition to a barge, having some dude in a rowboat act as a fucking, like, like a fucking jack. <laughs> just carry a bunch of B-mats, because you can make those with B-mats. Carry a bunch of B-mats, make a rowboat, and just kind of save the boat. <laughs> Okay, guy in the game chat says exclamation point stuck, not slash. Okay, got it. But all right, we're, we're okay. alive. We're fine. We're good. I don't think there's anybody over here, but good. We, we survived. Oh, God. No, 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 no. I fear the shore. I fear the shore as much as the sea, as much as my own boat. Dock front. Dock. Well, we can bump off that. That won't do anything. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anybody there, and most of the buildings are already destroyed. So there ain't nobody here. Yeah, they're Moving probably up. in home waters. Yeah, they're probably south, so we're just gonna go raid Terminus and see how far we can get down there. Down there. Honestly, it feels like it. the place to be is the left side of the map. There's a lot more markers and stuff detailing. Yeah, most people are probably over there looking around. Cause... That's the new stuff, yeah. And also, it just looks like there's been more combat over there. Yeah, well, that's probably where people, are, most people are making the gunboats. I decided to, you know, stay over here because, you know, it was somewhat familiar and we just need to, like... Wait. Is that waves? Or something that's rather... It's bassy. I heard it off to our front. Nah, I guess I'm just hearing things. Fucking waves. But yeah... People are probably over there, but there are some people over here, and I decided, you know what, we'll, we'll just keep in this area just for the sake of familiarity. Because it's still kind of testing tactics as to what we're going to be doing when we're actually being, you know, the pirates. We know barges work. Barges work like a charm. Gunboats, though! These are going to take some work. But yeah, carry, carry B-mats to make a rowboat, just in case you need to unstuck. You need a crowbar. <laughs> and a gas can to fuel it. You're going to want to turn southwest. Mm-hmm. Hang on here. If we go this way, well, we're, we're just going straight down, so this should take us down to where we want to go anyway. Right? This should cross south, right? Nope. No. This hex This is the edge of the map. Th 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 this hex does not exist. I figured if it, it would be going, you know, they... They'd make it go south as well, but oh well. Now I know. Those go nowhere. I also brought a wrench this time, don't worry. Never leave home without a wrench. And hopping. I'm going to try and be very careful around coastal guns with this thing, because this thing is definitely not going to get out of the way in time. Where the hell are we now? In a very interesting, very interesting place. The map is now totally useless. Yeah. Um, also, yeah, just keep I, got a, southwest. I got a warning <laughs> stating ah, that... Excuse me. Go I ahead. got a warning stating weather is affecting wind conditions, which may affect 
the direction shell fall. Interesting. Oh yeah, winds affect the um, shells. I assume it would only affect indirect and not there direct. Is, there's a tire floating out there on the water. Yeah. yeah, I saw that too. It was that for a second there I was like, wait, is someone lost at sea? <laughs> Can we collect some poor sailor no. who's got nothing but a life preserver? I mean, we kind of tried to do that, and the man unfortunately drowned, so... <laughs> We've already been on that, uh, on that adventure. We failed that episode. It's nightime Just again, Remember so. to unlock the boat. I really wish I knew, like, where they'd kind of set up a team deathmatch on the dev server. That way we could go someplace more fun. Yeah, well, this simulates an actual war, having to find people. Okay, we're going to be pass passing one of those platforms up here on our front left. Port side. There's probably nobody there, but... Just a couple barges. Yep, completely fucking abandoned. Oh. And a truck. <laughs> a random truck. We'd blow it up, but let's try and save the ammo. We went through it a little quick. Oh, yeah. So war is just one massive game of Marco Polo to an extent. Oh, hey, look, those are the other gunboat guys. Okay, so they're on a patrol. We're on a patrol. They haven't found anybody. We're doing the same thing. Now, the, uh, the watchtowers on the islands are apparently going to be very important for gathering intelligence, but uh, we'll see how that actually works out in a real war. They're not going to be that great with their limited cone. Yeah, they're, they're basically going to have... You're going to have, have to have lighthouse crews, which, again, good luck having people doing that consistently. The best you might have is a bunch of people that come in while a major regiment is doing an operation and they're manning the lighthouse while their boats are patrolling around for a couple of hours. I'm not able to connect to the server. Anyone got any tips? Well, uh, have you uh, opted into the beta in Steam first? Make sure to do that. Okay, passing structures on our starboard side. That is a barge, and also, well, that stopped us from going too close to the fucking island. <laughs> Not that <laughs> I can you, fucking... I can't really see anything, but... Thank you, safety barge. Safety barge. <laughs> All right, we're coming up on the border soon. All right, well, we're going f as far south as we can to see if we can find anyone. I'd go further west, closer to shore. Probably. So we're gonna... It's worth checking down here, but we, we're gonna be patrolling around for, for a bit, most likely. But yeah, the barge is honestly superior. Like, the state probably could get better if they, you know fix the pathfinding issues with walking on the boat, but a barge with a bunch of people playing lookout every, you know, second you're not in combat is way more aware of its surroundings than this thing is. 
So that thing will be able to hunt targets or, or avoid shit way, way more easily than this thing will. Granted, you know, hopefully we can have somebody standing on the back of the boat at sometime soon. Yeah, just someone with binoculars would make this a lot better. Yeah, you would expect this would be the role of the captain. And also, this ship did have a commander's cupola, which is now gone. This is the updated version, and they've totally removed that. So the captain doesn't have a seat, and in the current state, nobody can really sit on the boat and actually look around. So clear currently, we're fucking blind. Okay, so we're going to cross this platform, see if there's anybody there, and then we're going to head west. And we got an island off to our east. Or, excuse me, west. Let's stop. Yeah, all right, we're a safe distance. Oh, okay. there's a freighter. Is there anybody on it, though? No? No. No, nobody here. Everybody's well, done. Everybody's it's outside done. of our sight line, not that we... We can if and see if there's anyone there or not. You know, without actually boarding it. Are we going on a river tour? Well, let's see here. Where exactly are we? Well, I can't even navigate on the map, but yeah, we're going down the... Well, we probably don't want to go down that way. We probably want to cut further off, because then we're going to be in front of uh, Breakwater, and they have coastal guns, and that will be very bad. Yeah, Fergus between the two islands. Yeah, so we're going to slide through here and keep going to the west. We're going to try not to run aground like we did last night. We're probably going to wind up going the same way, but we're going to try and not run aground. Sure. But, but unfortunately, yeah, it looks like most of the most people are on the other side of the map. We're a little bit... We were better off the other night with everybody being sequestered here because the other areas weren't open yet, but now it looks like everybody left. How much fuel do we got? Mm, a little bit over three fourths, so we're totally fine. All right. We managed to traverse the whole map, and we're nowhere near even halfway full, so we've got plenty of time to go back to port. Okay. Give that and mass a wide berth. There it is, and then turn. My minimap barely fucking functions here, but we should be able to go this direction. Should be in, you know, we should be able to cut south and then we're definitely in colonial waters. It would help if it was daytime, though. Yes. Because now I, I think our sight range has gotten even fucking smaller. <laughs> Commended me. Thank you. I'm trying. Thank you for noticing. Also, if you wanted to bother your... Yeah, you're high enough rank to create a regiment if you wanted to bother with that. Hmm. We'll see about that on the live server, because we still need to get some more people in here routinely. Mm -hmm. not, not many, but we still need to get more. Go 
further south, so we're gonna we're gonna bounce off that and keep going this way. And I'm going to assume that we're gonna well, actually, you know, let's make sure. Let's let's just make sure and round that the, the hexagonal corner. There we go. And then that way. We might want to slow down. Yeah, here's hoping we don't. There's an island right in front of us. Right. Here's hoping we don't mysteriously appear on the surface of the sun or something. <laughs> okay, loading map. Okay, so now we're. Okay, we're close. Okay, so we're gonna have to navigate around Keel Hall. Good lord, my maps are totally goddamn worthless. We should be able to skirt by Terminus Harbor? As long as we navigate away from Keel Hall or a safe distance from their coastal guns, because we know those are gonna be there. Mm -hmm. Keep an eye out. Terminus? Oh, Terminus. Uh -huh. So I'd assume if there was any if there's any colonial action on this side of the map, it's over there, but we don't want to drive directly into their fucking guns. Though it looks like we're honestly doing that. I mean, if we really wanted to, we'd probably drive all the way to the other side of the map. I mean, yeah, we could actually try and navigate the rivers all the way over there. And in freighter dead ahead. Oh. Dunk. We'd probably be able to do that. We'd have to... I'd have to try and figure out my way through Good. the map here. We'd have to stop for fuel. Take a long-ass time. It, it would definitely be an Apocalypse Now boat ride, but it'd be nice to, you know, prove a how and where you can do it. Hold up. There is that. fuel in Deadlands, which is the halfway point. Oh god, there's another bridge in the way. That might have fucked us. Okay, so yeah, well actually we have to go through this bridge and then... Bring your starboard a bit. Turning, turning, turning. Give it a little gas. Please stay away from the sandbar. Okay, good. Bridge is raised. Okay, good. Thank, thank Christ for that. Well, that one's raised. We just need to see about the uh, the other bridge. Which is probably not going to be raised, but who knows? It won't be. Because this is an actual road bridge. Oh, it's raised. Bring us port. Okay. Port side. Yeah, I can barely see it, but we're going to bounce into it. Good. Fantastic. We're in. Okay, so we go... Right, we, we go straight ahead from here down into this... Mm-hmm. Kind of here. The other, other way is a dead end, but we keep going down here, and we want to keep all the way to the side. Maybe there's some action on that uh, that platform there in the middle of the area, but we want to stay away from Keel Hall itself, because that's where the guns shot at us yesterday and nearly killed us. Yeah, that's a little close to the coastal gun. Yeah, so we're it gonna might be out of range, but I don't know. Yeah, we're going to have to skirt around it, because we could yesterday, but the problem is we skirted the shore so closely, we ran into a fucking uh, a submerged rock, and we got stuck. So we're going to have to immediately pull hard starboard here. Hello, Sleepless. We are in absolutely no position to come get you, sorry. We're in deep. Uh, you might be able to spawn in the Turnco in the south. Oh, sea mines. Thankfully, uh, oh, those are yes. still here. But yeah, thankfully, we don't have mm -hmm. to be bothered by those. We just sail right over those, and those Apparently. are only supposed to be against submarines for some bizarre-ass reason. Wait, I hear boat. Again, allegedly... Wait. I hear a truck. Back front. Yeah, I hear the front. Tank. Right. Tank. There's dudes on there. From the shore. Bring us away from the shore. Shoot it. Shoot it. Shoot it. Shoot it. Shoot it. Shoot it. 
Oh, I got sniped. Argo is immediately dead. Shoot it, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it! There's a tank? Oh, God. Yeah, we're, we're dead! Gonna Keep shooting! <laughs> well, and yep. then we immediately died. Wow. Well, we that... were outnumbered and we got fucked. You know? Wow. That's actually abysmal. Whoa. <laughs> Where did that guy come we, from? We got hit by a tank. Wow. Yeah, we wow. got shot by the tank and that 20 mil guy popped fucking Argosa well. immediately and then went to work on me, which was causing my reload to get longer. Yeah, I think the barge would have been better there because honestly, if we just rolled up and started throwing white ash grenades across the fucking deck, we probably would have killed the boat at least. Maybe. So yeah, that is about as clunky and useless as I expected without any observation. I think that's the biggest thing that kills it. We can't see in front of us. Granted, it was nighttime, but we need we need to have some kind of lookout. And yeah, that, uh, that's ex that's basically what I expected to happen the moment we got engaged. I didn't expect a tank, but that's effectively what I saw coming. And ah, yes. So, devs, if yeah, we you are watching and listening, please add a commander's cupola to the barges again. That way they have someone spotting. Yes, we definitely need a seat like that, or dear God, fix the deck, and hello, sleepless. Well, I guess we're going out in the barge again and seeing what's going to happen. Might as well try that before we go. Uh, let's see here. Where the hell if am we I? Oh, right, we're, we're the quiet. Boat from the worst angle. I mean... Yeah, sadly, unfortunately, but we could we could not win a straight up fight with it mainly because the tank was there helping it. Sadly, but yeah, that's about as clunky as I expected it to be. And uh, yeah, I don't think uh, I don't think the gunboat's usable in the state that it's in, or at least not ours. Theirs seems effective. Yeah, theirs fine because it has a fucking anti tank gun, and we have a howitzer of questionable usage. No, I think they they behave the same. It's just that they mounted that twenty mil that immediately halved our firepower. Yeah, that because uh, the dude that, did, that also didn't help. Yeah, the fact that he immediately sniped Argosa and took out our ability to fire the foe hammer at the front, and then the twenty mil was causing my turret to become damaged and my reload to get slower, meant that they won a battle of raw rate of fire. And then, of course, the Allied tank firing off that big round that put a big hole in the front of the ship. Right, okay, so... We're out of B-mats here, damn. I probably have some. Anyone hear me? No, forever, we cannot hear you. However, yeah, let's see here. Do we have any B-mats lying around here for a barge? We probably... Well... It wouldn't be that hard to go get it, but it doesn't look like we have any on hand. Okay, that is not my truck. Oh. Oh! The mounted any tank rifle is colonial only. Oh. Oh, wow. Well, I I'm starting to see a pattern here. Well, you know, they have to create asymmetrical warfare. Yeah, asymmetrical warfare, where we have things that are bad, and they have things that are clearly better. Not entirely true. They lack a cruiser tank, which I've seen what outlaw groups can do. They can absolutely swarm super heavies and battle tanks and shred them. Well, that's all grand and, grand and fine here, but we're talking about gunboats here and shipping vessels, and it doesn't look like it, we're really getting help here. Granted, we do get white ash grenades, but we weren't set up for that shit. No. All right, well, um, yeah, somebody bring 150 B-mats down to the dock and we'll hammer together a barge. It's probably, we'll probably actually get... Yeah, there's a, there's a bunch of B-mats in storage. I'll bring them down. Yeah, we'll probably do better that way, honestly. So, gas mask. See, that was sad, but I kind of expected it with how absolutely egregiously clunky the, the, the gunboat was. That was... I was expecting to eat instantly die. I don't know if we killed anybody, but I was expecting to instantly die the moment we got into combat. That was absolute. That that is an atrocious combat vehicle. Oh right, there's 240 B mats here. I didn't see those here. Hmm. Odd. Hmm. Okay. So well, I guess I'll go hammer to a barge together real quick before I get all my equipment on. See, that's the thing about the barge as well. That thing, like, the gunboat costs 
That's our mats. That didn't take very long because we're on the dev server, but that that that's somewhat of an investment. The barge? The barge was 150 B mats. It's like sitting there picking your nose. Unsure of how much I can help, but I'm willing to enlist. Well, stranger, if you can get into the server now, we'd love to have you. Uh, that's me, Argo, Sleepless, Ironclad. It's four, five, yeah, five. So we have two slots open on the deck of a barge. You need a specific role to order to t talk on the channel? You shouldn't. It would say that you're muted, but yeah, no, you're not actually transmitting anything. Nope, you're not forcibly muted, so you that may be just your mic. Well, worst comes to worst, you can you know, what you call you can talk in local. Server is accessible, uh just where I require require uh, a location. <laughs> Morgan's crossing. Very interesting sound that man made. Okay, good. Good old barge. How I missed you. I run to the bathroom real quick. See, you're made of glass, but you won't lie to me. You're actually controllable. You can open bridges. You, we can have observation personnel on the deck. We can fucking see where we're going! You won't try to eat my crew members alive! Maybe. I mean, yes, we did have that unfortunate incident where two people skipped off the deck and died instantly of, of the moment we set foot on it, but we, we learned. Stranger, hold on. Yep. Hello, sir. Okay, so, stranger, we are in Morgan's Crossing at the port of Quietus or Quietus? I'm not sure how it's pronounced. We have enough basic equipment on the, you know, in the town hall to actually just equip a bunch of dudes and put them on the deck. Plenty of white ash grenades. And since everybody's going to be standing on the deck of the same ship, we'll, um, well, this will be a whole lot easier to manage. And this is what I imagined, honestly. Uh, ah! Fucking finally. There you go. <coughs> okay, uh... So, I've never played this game before, and I have no idea where the hell I am. Uh, well, hit M and, uh, Where did you spawn in? Where are you? I... Somewhere... The windmill? With the wind wall? Wind wall. Like that. I have That's no... Large. Mic check on the laptop. J use me like a bot. Okay, sir. You will stand on a deck with a hangman, and you will shoot at people. Uh... I mean, the place just Where seems we like are, a... that's not a Morgan's Crossing. Uh, I mean, the place just seems like a, a, like a tutorial island, if I've ever seen Oh, one. that. Go, oh, follow, you're on the... Follow the directions to the deploy okay. icon. Your, the deploy area, they should be written on the ground. It should be the globe on your map. Okay. Okay. Uh, I would like to get into the inventory of my boat. There it is. Okay, squad lock. Okay, some B mats. Ah. All right, hello, stranger. Come with us. We need to get you some equipment. Or come with me, I suppose. I don't know who that guy is, but we're here. Okay. So, access the town hall, uh, get yourself a gas mask, gas mask, two filters, uh, and then get yourself a padded boiler suit, uh, that'll allow you to stack gas masks in your inventory. Then, uh, 
Let's see here. Uh, white ash grenades, of course. We need those. We've got plenty of those. Those are still here in spades. Okay, we still have... Where are the hangmans? Like hangman. Three magazines of those. <laughs> Hello, sir. It forced me to spawn back in all right. Okay, white ash grenades. Okay. Uh, I have a truck up here. I can pick you up iron. He's here. He he, he came in on bicycle. All right, so, uh, yeah, get a gun, oh. get some ammo, get a shit ton of white ash grenades, and then get to the boat. Make sure you have a gas mask just in case somebody throws gas at us, even though I don't think anyone's going to. It's better to not die the embarrassing death that way. So, white ash grenades in there. Hammer in there for the sake of it. I don't think I'm going to need that pistol. Actually, well, I could use the pistol, but I don't think I'm going to need it. I, th I think I'm going to need the inventory space. Ah, there we go. Uh, where, you are, where are you guys? Morgan's Crossing at Quietus. Morgan's Crossing. Quietus. Quiet is, is uh, bottom left of the map of oh, okay. well, that, that would Morgan's Crossing. Of, the, we're, of Morgan's Crossing. We're standing at the town hall, so as soon as you spawn in, you'll see us. Gotcha. Uh, bottom left. Huh. Of Morgan's Crossing. Oh, wait. Deployment yeah. point. We're in the home region. Okay. Hey, let's see. Is there see. more than one map? No, well, as long as you're on the dev server, we're on the run map. Oh, okay, then. <laughs> uh, uh, you're looking for the Morgan's Crossing hex, so zoom out and you'll see Morgan's Crossing in the top right. Wait, Once you, you find Morgan's oh, Crossing... Oh, there it is! I, I heard bottom left! Okay. Right, well, that, yeah, well, the bottom left of Morgan's Crossing. So the bottom left of bottom. that hex. Alright, bottom left yes. of that hex. Okay, do we have... I don't think any... No, we do have green ash grenades as well. <laughs> War crimes. Right. Well, Quiltus? I guess center left. Yes. Quietus, Quiltus, whatever. Whatever. Okay. Traveling there right now. Quiltus picker upper. Hey, I, I learn on the job, damn it. Quietus. Yeah, there's there's pl <laughs> there is plenty of equipment inside the town hall. You need to equip yourself with some, you know, basic essentials. The boilerplate uniform and a hangman and it's associated 45. Uh, I'm stocking the boat with ant with grenades. Uh, Fano, okay. do you want to invite stranger to the squad? Sure. Makes things easier. Liam Schmidt. Who is Liam Sch Does anyone know Liam Schmidt? Who is this man? Where's that? Uh, get my, uh... Actually... Hmm. I mean, I suppose? Sure, why not? That's... That's... That's a random... Yeah, I know, that's a random. If you have F1, you can find Stranger on the list. Oh, okay. I guess I'll take the the off-brand Car 98K. At least that's what I'm assuming the Hangman is. Well, actually, it's a, it's it's got a revolver cylinder in it. Okay, here you are. Uh, let's see here. Invite the squad. Okay, no, that, that, yeah, no, that's not... No, that's 44. That's not a 7.62. Yeah, so 44. It will kill a man, though, so don't worry about that. Okay, so... Grenades. We need a pair of binoc... Okay, binoculars, too. We only got five of those, but we should be good for one cruise. Okay. 
a a wrench, of course. How many grenades Danger. As many oh. as you can fucking carry. Now gotcha. don't you fucking sass me with that. Yeah, so a many, as many white ash grenades as you can carry, I will be stocking the boat, but those are going to be our primary mode for sinking people. They're very effective. Five white ashes, uh, you know, on a deck, which is basically all five people on the deck throwing one grenade, will instantly sink a barge. So if we come up against somebody on a barge, that'll kill them. The gunboats aren't mu that much more durable, so we can probably insta-give that guy we were shooting at before as well. Just remember, you have to be not encumbered, so if you look at your inventory, you see the, the percentage number at, top, at the top. It cannot be over 100, or the boat will not be able to move. Of course. There's a uh, max load that it can take. Right, okay, so grab a pair of binoculars as well, because you will be looking around. Hmm. Ah, that, there it is. You know what, this guy does not be, need to be in the squad. That guy doesn't need to be in the squad, he might run away with our boat. Sorry, sir, I do not trust you. You may come along with us, though. Okay, so... I mean, more white ash grenades as well? Um... Or, uh, green ash, I should say. Sure. I think we got enough B-mats to repair the boat as well. Yes, but it's only be if one person is overweight and not because nobody can actually do anything. Also, Ironclad, you cannot fire that on the boat. No? Nope. I tested it myself. It's incredibly annoying that way, but you cannot fire that when the boat's ramp is up. The Malone? Yes. I tested that myself last night and was incredibly disappointed. Oh, shit. Okay, so green ash grenades, though you, you guys should you guys will probably need the grenades more than I do. Cause I'm gonna be I'm gonna be driving the boat. I guess I'll, I'll I guess I'll hold on to actually that's two wrenches. I'll get I'll take my hammer, put those grenades in there, and then take some emergency B mats just for the sake of it. Alright, I am at 99% and encumbrance, I guess. That means you should be good. All right, so there's plenty of grenades on the boat. As long as you guys have magazines for your rifles, you should be able to stack three of them while you're wearing a boilerplate. Yep. Okay, do we need anything else? Oh, wait, I have one, one already loaded. Let me grab another one. Do I need anything else? I am not quite sure. Just make sure you have, you know, green ash and white ash grenades in your inventory and enough ammo for your rifle. A gas mask with a filter in it and then two extra filters in your inventory and you can carry basically whatever whatever else you can put it. Oh, I've missed the Blake row. Okay, so there's that. Let's see here. So radio would be helpful, but I don't think anybody's really doing any map intelligence and I can't really look at it on stream. That'd cover me. No, it wouldn't. Okay, I guess I'll just take it for the hell of it. Okay, there's some B-mats there. And... Yeah, I think I... I'm, I'm at least ready to go here. Make, uh, make sure each one of you has a pair of binoculars. We don't have many left, but grab a pair. <clears throat> I have a spare one just in case we run out. Yep. Other than that, just make sure you have ammo for your rifle and grenades in your pockets, and we should be ready to go. I also brought some bandages. Good. Alright, let's yar-har some fiddly bees. Mm -hmm. Spare wrench in there, plenty of grenades. Alright. We should be ready to go. 
All right, all aboard. Wait, wait, where? Down at the uh, what you call it? Go south to the docks here. You'll see the oh. barge. You should oh. see. You should see see me. Right, just south. Where are you? Yeah. Over here. I'm at the town hall. Over here. Yeah. This ah, way. This ah, way. I'm on Argo. Hey, Argo. How wide is your field? Of, uh, your field of view. You saw him, but not me. But okay. Anyway. Okay. I, I, I walked right up to him. Wide enough, I guess. Okay. All right, gentlemen. Our uh, objective is to go to sea and uh, sink as many uh, ships as possible with the, the weapons loads that we have. Good luck. I expect nothing but the best from all of you. Woo! Oh, I'm going to have to. I'll worry about that later. Right. I have to go get fuel as well. All right. Okay. So, uh, mo for approach here is that we. Uh, Equip your green ash grenade first. And then, you know, throw that onto the deck to see if that will kill them. To see if that will kill them. Then, if that does not kill them, immediately switch to your white ash grenades and start throwing them, yo, know, all over the fucking deck. They will usually so die... So, about green ash is that... What? It's a static entity. It doesn't actually follow the boat. Does it not? I thought that was standard procedure for, like, nuking frigates. Or rather, nuking freighters. It's like the only conceivable way of actually. Whatchamacallit? That, that's like the only conceivable way of actually getting, uh. Well, now, I guess. Liam can be in here to actually, you know, access the inventory, so sure, fine. Since I'm in. I'm inside the boat, he can't steal it no more. Sure, fine. Now we're at sea. You're stuck with us. Okay, stranger, we've got green ash and white ash stats. <laughs> on the Hello there, Liam. Wow, we we didn't even fucking flinch when that guy collided with us. Wow, Jesus Christ. Huh. Strange things happen in world, I guess. All right, gentlemen, remember your binoculars and be on the lookout every yo know, every second we're out there. You're my eyes. If you see something, shout. I, I guess I'll say something. Say something. No, <laughs> I, I don't know how long I want to try and keep that accent, but eh, whatever. I'll look up uh, starboard, or no, port. Port's left. So back to Somali pirates. Exactly. Really Good news is the bard can open the bridge on its own. Exactly. This is way more user friendly to use. <laughs> Shockingly enough, we actually wield. Situationally more firepower than the bar, well, yo, than a gunboat. What's better, uh, a gunboat with bigger turrets and more specialized weapons, or five crackheads with a bunch of frag grenades? We can have six crackheads on this boat, on the deck. Well, actually, seven people. I could be in the wheelhouse, and have, we can have six people with, yo, grenades and very angry-looking stairs on the deck. <laughs> and these are incredibly uh, cheap to use and lose, so. Again, we could do the we could you know with some minor upkeep for your resources, we could put out enough BMATs to consist constantly lose ships for an entire day. Ah, it's like we're spamming Shermans. Effectively, yes, but it's a barge. Uh sea Shermans. Wait, there was actually some sort of variation of the Sherman for that. DD Shermans. DD Shermans. The funnies. You basically have five nade launchers on one boat. Exactly. So yeah, now we're going to go sail back to Kali territory and see if we can find anybody. Clearly there's somebody rolling around in a boat trying to be funny. So we'll see if we can find them again. But I already feel more comfortable in this fucking thing, and not just because, you know, we can open the gates. I forgot to mention this earlier, but allegedly with the gunboat, if you manage to get the model low enough, you can strike the sea mines. Uh -huh. How? You I don't know. You would have to get 20 meters under the wave. It's feature. You're basically a submarine at that point.
But yeah. Guys, just look around and occasionally, you know, you know, you know remember where the boat is, or just kind of, you know, un unscope the binoculars and remember where we are. Just randomly look around, because you may spot something out there. That is effectively our um, our only means of actually, like, spotting things, but we're immeasurably more aware like that than the fucking gunboat. Smile and throw grenades, boys. Smile and throw nades. Exactly. Barge pirates. Yeah. yeah. It all goes well, we'll actually be able to ambush someone and immediately sink them. Really wish the Prioli sign was over the other side. Azimuth. 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 Bearing, basically. Oh, bearing. Okay. So I'd say you direct the um, fire. Zero is north, 180 is south. Mm. Gotcha. Okay. 270 is west, 90 is east. Right. Which fucking hex are we again? Oh, we're in the wrong hex again, but oh well, we're going out there. Well, good thing I know my trig. Four thousand sulfur for one hundred sea mines. Man, they really don't want submarines to do anything, do they? I'm surprised I'm not crashing due to bad net this far. Well, I honestly, I think that's just the dev server being the dev server. So maybe we're all uniformly being affected by it. <laughs> the madness of the waves. The the deficit of the net code. Yeah. I've been to Europa. I could probably handle anything out and see. And again, just keep your binoculars out there and keep looking. We're not gonna Got it. we're not gonna know anything's out there until it sails into my direct field of view, so you guys with the binoculars will see it if it's out there. Well good news is we haven't lost anyone to the ocean yet. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Well, or at least this session, I guess. Well, we haven't... Nobody's drowned. However, we did lose a boat with all hands, sadly. Unfair fight. Not entirely our fault. Yeah. Marin lost a truck last session. Both me and Marin got ejected. First session. <laughs> yeah, we haven't had any accidental casualties like that. We're improving. Hooray! We've stopped killing ourselves. <laughs> Maybe, just by the end of this, we might actually be able to complete an operation. Maybe. I mean, if nothing else, we'll sail down to Kali land, uh, drop the ramp, go throw some grenades at some random-ass facility, and then run away. Like we did last time, except maybe we'll survive, because we've got more people. That seems to be the, uh, the extent of our raids. We sail around looking for boats to engage, we don't find any boats, and it goes sail as far down as we can get away with into, uh, colonial territory and then proceed to try and break as much shit as possible. So if we do this on the life branch, we're going one to invest in satchel charges. More than likely if we're actually going to, you know, you know, disembark and go out there. But I imagine that getting down to, like, the terminus area is going to be more difficult when we're actually playing on the live server. So we may be limited oh, yeah. to the islands and we may be able to do funny things like have a single barge with a tank, just roll up, shoot some stuff, get back on the barge and run away. <laughs> I'm pretty really? sure this I'm pretty sure this thing can fit a battle tank, which is like one of the heaviest chassis out there. So we <laughs> we could in I fact we could in fact fit a fucking flood on here and use the 75 mil gun to just destroy things. Yeah, so it would basically be Unfortunately, a no. Oh. You, you can't attack from the barge. Well, no, no you you can't. No, no. But the idea would be that we would just raid uh, the island. Vehicle. 
yeah, we'd raid yeah. the island with the vehicle because they're they're more they're more than likely not gonna have anti-vehicle AI defenses. Yeah, smash and grab. Get in there. It's it's like the Vikings. Land. Depends if they if someone decides to build a bunker base. They may, but generally speaking, my, my you know initially they may you know they may get around to this one, but initially I don't think people will be taking the raiding thing very seriously. At least on the I islands, mean, because they're so small. They made a battle tank based SPG. We can quite literally load an SPG or three on barges and then bombard a base to bits. This is also true. We can just land on the on the beach, uh, sight up uh, sight up the uh, the bunker base and then proceed to shell it to smithereens, and then leave. We have ISU 122s. So that's what I mostly see of us are, you know, uh, aside from anti-ship work, you know, work, that's basically the extent of our, our, uh, our force deployments. We basically just arrive on an island, uh, break a base if we can, but b show up, break all the trucks and the cranes so they have to bring more of them and then leave. Coming up on the border. Yep. Deprive the enemy of the means of production. Really just be, uh, you know, if nothing else, just be extremely inconvenient. I could do that. And it does actually affect the war, since we are slowing development of the islands by, you know, removing stuff like that. Hey, I mean, if they can't build shit, they can't fund the war. Well, we'll be taking... There are no refineries on the islands, so they have to get materials from off-island. Mm -hmm. I mean, Russia's I... kind of learning that the hard way in Ukraine. But yeah, the... Yeah, that, and that, to my mind, would limit the amount of, like practical fortifications you'd see on most islands because it would take you need to bring everything there could you like make an island in a, just its own little Atlantic wall yes you could will most people do that probably not okay so let's keep going to oh right I forgot the map is goddamn worthless <laughs> Yeah, we're going to want to go southwest. Okay, southwest, got it. Unless, unless you want to hit the island. I don't think there's any, going to be anything there. Ah, oh, creep. Alrighty. Uh, concrete battleship, uh, sir. That is just a bunker base. It'd be funny to be. It, it would be funny if someone made a pier all the way out to the center of the uh, uh, center of a bay and then made a bunker base out there be a very interesting bug. Nah, man. Take a note out of the British. Let's make an iceberg carrier. Yes. Go all the way up north and, you know, just chop some ice loose and make it a carrier. I think woodchip. I think it was wood chipping as well they were trying to do. Yeah. Uh, what is it called? Uh, not more. Pie crease. Which is basically just ice and sawdust. Learning about history and war and the odd things that happen have been quite amusing these past couple of months. For me. Yes, we do amazing. Unfortunately, uh, it is true that we do amazing and very interesting things when we're trying to kill each other. And also going back to the British, apparently they try to weaponize chickens for nuclear landmines. Chickens for data? That's new. Chickens for nuclear landmines. Uh, uh, the idea was that, like, uh. Land straight ahead? Yeah, uh, twisting. There shouldn't be anybody over here, even though it's owned by the colonials. I don't no, think there's on the island. Yeah, I don't. I don't think there's anybody over there. Well, they have AI defenses to our east.
Okay, so we're gonna stray through the center of this area, I think, because we already went, like, hard right of this area and saw nothing earlier. So we're gonna patrol around the center of the hex and see what happens. We're still gonna probably wind up going to the exact same place that we died. If we don't run into somebody along the way. Okay, that's just two barges. Oh, right, those things, the invincible barges. barges. nowhere. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right, the invincible barges that uh, apparently are not considered things. Oh, right, and there's the pier that we shot to pieces that's still there. Very telling first experience with uh, gunboats here. That one to our left isn't the pier you're thinking of. That's just a map item. That's not an actual dock. Well, no, not that one. It's further down um, to our mm -hmm. southwest. Should be mostly yep. destroyed, but not fully. Over on Intipada. Looks like we're going to be skirting the island with our current course. Mm -hmm. We should be fine. This thing has a habit of not getting stuck unless you get really goddamn close. Gotta watch out for submerged rocks, though. We learned that the hard way. Okay, so... I wonder... I, we went up to DEFCON 1 there for a moment there. <laughs> I decided to look up the thing I was talking about. Apparently it was called Project Blue Peacock. Uh huh. Yeah, the the British nuclear physicist, 1957. I know the situation was they were scared about the Soviets a bit invading through Germany, so they wanted to plant nuclear mines there, and they're having trouble with the. I think it was what was it? Something about the fuse, but apparently it was the birds would be put inside casings of the bomb, given seed to keep them alive and stop from pecking at wiring. The chicken's body would be enough to maintain the triggering mechanism working temperature, and this would go on until, well, the chicken would run out of food and die, and by then, nuke would go off. Okay? I mean, yes, but I think we could probably... We could probably come up with a better way to set an automatic fuse to a nuke than a chicken. Well... They, obviously, they didn't go through with it, but I think later they did have to come out with a report that, yes, this is something we spent our taxes on. Yes, the, this. Though, funny enough, the pigeon-guided bomb and, the, you know, the, the bat incendiary bomb actually did work. <laughs> Apparently, they're going to use cats as well for that guided bomb. Aha! Uh -huh. Because the idea is the cats hate water and always land on their feet or something like that. Yeah, sure. Yeah, mm-hmm. Re real, real hard science there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, we're going to use a cat as a fucking gyroscope because it always points to the nor north, right? Mm-hmm. Something like that. <laughs> it, it would see water. It Like, it, like throughout through the, uh, through the bomb, it would see water and then proceed to try and avoid it. It's been a while since I've looked into it, so I'm not describing it the best way, but clearly it didn't work. Bat bombs yes, were 12 course, times bat more bomb. effective than the actual incendiary bombs. Yes, because the, the fucking bats flew into areas that normal incendiary bombs wouldn't get to. That was the insidious thing about it. The, the, the bats would go roost under rooftops and gutters, and then, yo, know, later the explosives would go off. Land straight is, ahead. Which is way more effective for starting fires that you can't put out than just kind of dropping fire all over people. Ah, yes. Uh, it was funny, same, and it worked. Apparently the same guy who proposed the idea also wanted to make a... I think it was a... Uh, a uh, Deep-fried chicken vending machine or something like that. Good. <laughs> something tells me that this man was paid off by the chicken industry. Well... No, he was a dentist from Pennsylvania. Fried chicken right. vending machine. Yeah, fried chicken vending machine. Thank you, swordsman. But what a time. No, he was a... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
and airmail without having to land on your fucking roof. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> the weird shit in history. Yep. You mostly remember the jokes. Crazy dentist, yeah. Was it? No. Hey, I mean, when you make bat bombs that are 12 times more infected than regular incendiaries, yeah, he was, I would say he was, uh, he had some good ideas. And again, the uh, the carrier pigeon guided bomb, which actually did work, because they trained the pigeons to peck at images of ships. So they would correct the guidance system of the bomb as it went in. The fuck is that north of us? Loopy, but it worked. What? What? Why is that there? Wait, what? Yeah, Wait, what, what the fuck is that? There's a harvester. What? That's a harvester. What? Where? <laughs> it, north of, just north of us. Uh, yeah. Okay. Northeast. Yeah. Okay, I hang see on. It. Here. There, there's a harvester. Well, let me turn. On the... Okay. Where? Bearings, uh, uh distance 70, right uh, azimuth 4950. Yeah, it'd be nice if I actually had a bearing wheel in here, too. Dad uh, said, yeah, in. uh, yeah, that's, uh, there's something here. I don't know what it is, but it's <laughs> solid. It's a harvester. Uh, huh. Oh, is, yeah, we're hitting something. Yeah, that, there's something invisible out there. <laughs> I don't know what, yeah, hmm. Oh, mystical <laughs> harvester of the lake, tell us your wisdom. <laughs> Dev server is jank, bro. Colonial rule is Death unjust. Resist. Dev man bad. The war for Israel will never end until all parties are dead. Until uh, yeah, right. Until the actual war for Armageddon. Thank you, Th thank you, Harvester of the Ocean. I wish there was world peace. The monkey's paw curls. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the most compliant population is a dead population. Wish maker, I wish there was world peace. Okay. Everyone is now monolith. Monolith. Okay, so I'm once again entering this kind of tight straight, but frankly, I feel more comfortable in the barge doing this than we were in the in the gunboat. Mainly because I can stop on a dime if something horrible happens. Yeah, and funny you, that. And you know, there's actual cover for you guys in the ramp. Yeah, yeah I'd say that's a luxury, having cover. Fucking forgot. We still have Liam Schmidt with us. Yeah, the random man. He may be. He, he may be destined for glory. Today he, he is be, the ship's monkey. He may be a very shy viewer. This is also true. This is kind of what I expected. Since he, he was kind of following me around, since he's clearly watching my stream more than likely. But oh well, at least he's not stream sniping. Sorry, it was it, it was in the back of me. Say hi, Liam. It's okay. Okay. Hi. Right, okay. So, now we are transiting into deep within col colonial waters. Woo! So yeah, this is where we died, so, uh, full alert. I don't know if those guys are gonna be still there on that beach, but we're gonna sail past that area and see if they're still there. Alright. <sighs> full alert. Mission's on. Small talk. Alright. I'll be watching front. I got, uh, uh, left side support, so I got that. Yeah, like a shore there. I think I guess you can see that. Hold up. Uh, 
at shore other either side of us. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure I hear treads. Yeah, I think I heard yeah. something too. Abandoned freighter in front of us. It's that same freighter from before. Hey, okay, we're on the round the bend here. Yep, there's that freighter. I definitely hear something with caterpillars rolling around. That's probably a CV. Looks like there's a bunker base, uh, not a bunker base, a facility over there to our west, northwest. Ah. All right, coming up on a rail bridge. Bridge sure. is lifted. over three quarters fuel so if we manage to survive being engaged down here we have more than enough to get back to port all right uh road bridge is closed yeah not and a, it's down not, not a, that it matters not that it matters because we have the key maybe we've got the touch we've got the power yeah oh wow Okay, so an enemy barge can order a enemy bridge to freaking. Okay. Yeah, that. Yeah, because yeah, bridges aren't faction. But again, yeah, it makes total sense there. I'm not. Why the gunboat gunboat can't do that? Ah. Uh, gameplay, right? Emergent gameplay. It'd be rather funny if they introduced battleships and the first battleship is lost oh, to a Oh, straight ahead. Uh, go back east. Turn to face direct east. The, I saw someone loading up a freighter. Are you sure? Yeah. That just looks like there's an abandoned... A, no, there's a string of freighters, but one of them's got its doors open. Yeah. And I can see smoke coming from it. Do you see it? So... Oh, I think that's just damaged. Yeah, that freighter's damaged. Maybe, but maybe we can find someone doing some logic work and give them a... We can be oh, the door immense closed. assholes. No, it didn't. Didn't it? No. Yeah, no, it's just damaged. It's not in it. Okay. It's dying. Slowly. Moving on. Ah. Yeah. We'll want to continue south. Rest mm -hmm. in piss, colonial. We want to continue south and then cut the uh, the coast as we were. We keep coming back to the yep. same area. Let's try not to get sunk by a tank this time. Yeah, let's try and avoid <laughs> that one. It's not even the worst tank we could have fought. It was the freaking... Um... It'd be rather funny if we actually managed to get the tank with the gas grenade. That, that'd be... that'd make the day. I want to say Spava, but we, I don't know. We do have an armored car variant that has a gr twin grenade launcher that we can load with green ash grenades, and so we can, in fact, perform GLA toxin tractor beams. Well, the issue there is by the time we unlock that, we would have better options. No, we don't. There's no other vehicle that allows you to launch green ash. Like, yeah, you got mortars and stuff, but for, like, long-range chucking mortars or even green ash grenades from the All right. launcher? All right, boys. No. I eyes up, eyes up. This is where we died before. I'm going to try to avoid the rocks here, but eyes up. 
what I more so meant is by the time we get that, we won't need green ash. The fuck you mean? Green ash ignores tanks, armor, and attacks the crew directly. Well, the thing is, though, once once you have gas mass, you have the counter on, and if you get hit by that, it, you, you were being an idiot anyway. Okay, so let's avoid these rocks, because this is what killed us before. All right, so we're going to come up on this platform here. We may start taking fire from the... There's the bastards. We may start taking fire from the coastal guns, but I'm going to try and stay away as far as possible, aside from this bastard being in the way. Wait, that's our boat. That that actually is our boat! We're getting engaged by coastal gun. Yeah, I know. I'm I'm sailing away as quick as possible. We should be all right. I've got B-mats inside the hold. Run away! Okay, we're good. Check for damage. I'll keep an eye out for danger. Oh, hey. Looks like someone's actually actively using that derrick out on the water. I could hear dudes working on things on the derrick. I hear okay. a hammer going. Well, that's our boat's being repaired. That's me. <laughs> yeah, are you sure that's my boat? God damn it. I'm so used to having audio cues in games like this. All right, hang on. 92%. Wait, no. I have a visual cue. Someone... There, yeah, there is someone, someone on that derrick. Okay. Ready the green ash grenades. We're going in. Yes. We are going to be massive assholes. <laughs> oh. Somalia sends their regards. Again, it don't matter. It's the dev server. None of this matters. Where's the platform? On the other side of all these fucking barges. Jesus H fucking Christ, where's the... Where, where's the platform, Squidward? Wait, no, wait, no. Somebody's loading. Wait, it's right in front of us. It's right in front of us. You you can't shoot someone in a crane. I'm trying to get them to leave the crane. I hope you guys That's have gas masks. You gassed yourselves. Oh, wow, you idiots. Local, really? Yes. I think we got him. Boys, I think we got him. <laughs> oh, wait, no, crane's still moving. Keep throwing grenades. Or eat this. You want green ash, not white. Throw everything. Suck it. Hell you. Get out of here. Is... Gentlemen, I know we have more green ash than that. What are you doing? I don't think it's doing anything. Being slow. I, I, I'm being thoroughly amused. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Oh no, he's menacing us with the crane! Oh, you're gassing yourselves again. Ironclad is now overloaded. I can't move! Seriously? <laughs> he's I'm simply. Fucking... He's simply just ignoring us and getting on with his life! Oh god, here comes the arm again! Oh no! And here comes a you know. He's trying to pick and here comes a giant fist! Ah, uh, thank you. Yeah. Guy, you guys keep getting it's over over encumbered, and I can't fucking do anything! Honestly. Not really. It's more annoying than anything else. If y'all could just... <laughs> this feels so ineffectual. Could you please stop? Oh, the failure to do anything is funny. <laughs> it's also just a little kind of pathetic. If you'll want to fight, there's a whole nother shard. Wait, wait, interrogate this man. Ask him about where we can fight things. <laughs> the live shard. Um, we've used up all the grenades. Wow. We could not kill a man in a crane, even with all of that. Really? <laughs> well, this is awkward. Yeah. <laughs> well, 
little sad. Away! <laughs> We've done it. We saved the day. Well, you didn't do anything. Shut up. <laughs> oh, well. The guy's playing with a train set. Okay, so are we out of grenades? Ah. Yes. All right, new plan. Go right. home. Oh, we got <laughs> Okay, so we can't take that out with grenades. Good to know. We're gonna need bigger ships for that, but new plan. We're running ashore and we're killing as much thing as as much as we possibly can. Alright. Sounds good to me. Murder it is. Yeah, so that was kind of embarrassing, but well, none of this actually matters. And the guy's like, oh well, please leave me alone. I'm pl I'm being a care bear on the uh, on the dev branch. Let leave me to my train sets, he says the man playing a war. <laughs> Again, it's oh. Dev Branch. The entire point is to test the new stuff. We are testing by simulating a new, uh, simulating a war, and now we know that we can't actually engage platforms like that. So now we know that. Also, gas grenades do not work on a, a man in a raised crane. I wouldn't have expected that to be possible, but sure. Again, well, there's, there's, there's testing new things, and then there's actually, you know, being in the game. All right. Well, this is in a beach. We'll go over to the other side then. I understand the. Well, it be oh. I, I, I understand the initiative to test things, but again, this is a war game. Remember, you know, the, the logistics is kind of high here with the train set, but this is a war game. It's kind of easy to forget that I know, but it's a war game. So if the, if, the, also, if things break while people that. are shooting at them and we don't notice because we're too busy being, uh, you know, playing with Legos over here, it's kind of, you know, awkward. Not only that. We did figure something out. It yeah. is very difficult to destroy one of those things. It's not just as simple as throw a bomb at it and see it explode. I don't even know if you can destroy a crane. No. Yeah. Well, not the cranes, obviously, but the platforms themselves. But clearly, torching the thing is probably going to be the better option. Or you need Satchel larger naval. You yeah. You either need satchel charges or larger naval guns to poke holes in it. Because flamethrowers aren't all that great at destroying buildings. They're well, mostly anti-infantry. Well, you'd, you'd think that lighting buildings on fire would be, you know, kind of a... You know, nope. No? Really? Nope. So what about that it's whole... Just for that whole shit with fire... With y the introduction of fire... They got nerfed right? to hell. You're, you're kidding, right? Wow. Nope. Oh, okay. That whole... That whole... Yeah. That whole thing they made yeah. about in incendiary rockets lighting town halls on fire, and they nerfed it into the ground. Yep. Amazing. Jesus Christ, maybe, was too effective. maybe we are playing a train set. Anyway. Well, the no, thing this is, it was mostly... Oh, there's a gunboat. Is there a gunboat? To our right. Oh my god! What? He's back! What? <laughs> what? It's the same one from before. He's got the 20 mil auto cannons on the side. Let's steal his boat! Wait, is he... Fuck it. Is he actually in the boat? I've got a wrench. I, I have mm -hmm. a wrench. No, it's abandoned. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you know what yeah. we need? I'll bring the, the barge. You bring the barge over, then I can hop the deck. Oh. Oh no. Where did he Shoot go? Shoot that man before he gets in the boat! Where is he? Uh, wait, who are you shooting at? Oh, that guy. He's dead. Yes! I got him. <laughs> okay. He didn't manage to get back to the boat. He didn't blow us up. Good. Okay, good. Keep an eye good. out for the right. crew. He hang won't on. be back. No, hang on. Hold on. I can do this. Oh. oh. That's not gonna do shit now. Oh. Shoot him! <laughs> I see him. They're behind the truck. God, this gun's so slow to get. Give me the wrench. Sleepless, you're fucking cutting me off here. All right. Wait, I've got. Wait, is anyone still alive out there? Uh. Why am I stuck? Gentlemen, get to the shore. I have the guns. Get in the water. I have the boat. It's just me and this mother. Well, I'm leaving. Good day! Wait for me! Wait, come steal back! It? 
Run, Iron! Did you run! steal his gun, though? Yes, I did! Yes, run, did. Iron! Stop run! Swim! Swim, damn it! Swim! Quickly, you fool! Swim! Good! Shoot those men! Shoot them now! <laughs> yes! <laughs> it's our fucking boat now, you assholes! <laughs> Okay, well, we failed to we failed to get the man in the crane, but you know what? We we've stolen the boat that killed our boat. Vengeance! <laughs> okay, well, that made go that. that made up for that. Okay, that entirely <laughs> made up for that. Good. Okay, yeah. Also, fucking hangman is terrible for the accuracy penalty you take when you move. I, I couldn't that, hit shit. Well, I too shot a man with one, so. I, I guess I prepared for that, but all right, fine. But we we did it. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> I'm the captain now. <laughs> Look at me. Look at me. I am the captain now. And now we need to make it back to port with our stolen colonial gunboat without actually ramming into shore. Oh God! We are, oh right no! I'm in a gunboat. All right. Ironclad, just watch our six to make sure they don't sneak up on us. I don't think they have another one. They might steal a they might steal a barge and try and come catch us. This probably isn't the first stolen colonial gunboat, but it's one of the first, most likely. I can guarantee colonials have given wardens gunboats. <laughs> yeah, but this is funny. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! Motherfuckers. Oh no! Alright, hang on. Where's the ladder? Great question. Oh sh. Maybe it's on the upper side? Amazing question. Let's f try. Oh. Oh, oh my. he's moving a big gun in the front line. Don't mind us, we're just a gun sh we're, we're just a boat. Yeah, okay, there's stairs over here. I couldn't shoot him, though. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> also, I'm locking the boat just for the sake of locking the boat. Okay. Okay, you've got to go mean... up. You've got to go up there and open the boat. <laughs> Don't open the gates. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, that's as close as I can get. You have to go, go from here. Have you found the switches yet, Iron? Yeah, just popping them so I'm not stuck on the wrong side. Switches flipped, coming back. All right, hurry up before someone drives over here. Slowest getaway gunboat I've ever seen. Yeah, uh, I'm very sorry. There we go. I'm very sorry, but we can only work with what we've been given. And what we've been given is kind of janky. But now we've learned. Yeah, we're going to need some major firepower to take out those platforms. That'll help us out in the live server. Same as any other building. I suppose so, but yeah, that was um, definitely awkward that we couldn't gas a man who was sitting in a crane there. You would suspect that he would die from that, but I guess not. Or the fact that I chucked a bunch of white ash grenades at that fuel tank and it didn't explode. You know, hell, throwing... Hell, if we threw all of those at the freighter, it would have sunk, which is kind of funny. Yeah, fuel tanks don't explode like that. They should, though. Especially when you throw fucking thermite at them. Yes. 
But yeah, uh, yeah, I guess I it's it just flavor text and it basically just is just another bomb. I get it, but still. I mean, it's not as effective as the sticky bomb, but it's supposed to crit more. Also has longer range, I believe. Yeah, you can throw it farther. And, and there you go. The great boat robbery. Now yep. mortalized. It's the greatest boat robbery after the worst <laughs> offshore oil rig attack. <laughs> we'll learn. And by learn, I mean come back with submarines or something like that. Well, first they don't succeed. Die, die, die again. And we used up all of our ammunition, and we lost, we, uh, actually, we, we gained a boat that's probably considerably more expensive than the boat that we gave up. Oh yeah, what are you gonna name her? I have no idea. Oh wait, no, I've got an idea. Steely Dan. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, up there with Bodie, Mc, Bodie McBoatface. Genius. And now I, I guess what we'll do is we'll try we'll try to make it back to port, and we'll just throw it in the seaport and we'll call it a day. Does it matter? No. Did we piss off a lot of people unnecessarily? Yeah, probably. But uh, again, dev server, none of this really matters. And we are testing. And we, te we no, we tested the we tested to see if you can actually hijack a, a colonial uh, gunboat. The answer was yes. We're testing. Was it? <laughs> it was a bit convoluted, but we did it. Yes. We tested many things. Many, many test <laughs> tests. But yeah, we're preparing for the real we're preparing for the live server with real frustration and real violence and real Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> Grand Theft Naval. Mm. <laughs> and I mean, I'm sure that crew is annoyed. <laughs> Here's hoping that here's hoping they never find the Switch channel or do actually. You can always move more people. <laughs> yeah, come join us in our attempt to create Das Boot, a, a pirate empire. We'll be working at facilities <laughs> later, but yeah, I don't think we're going to be using gunboats all that often because, uh, <laughs> or for at least for right now, because goodness gracious, can. yeah, goodness gracious, they're bad. These need a couple more passes, so maybe we'll I... be maybe we'll be back on the seventeenth. When the act, the update actually, you know, when you know the actual, you know, destroyers and some breeds are actually introduced, we might be tinkering in the background making a facility <laughs> for a dry dock, though. We might be fucking around with that off screen. What, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, for fuck's sakes! What? Our what cargo, you, you fuck! What are you guys giggling at? What's going on over there? He I discovered in town hall. Oh God! I discovered rifle grenades. Yes, um, we also discovered you can't fire those off a deck, which is bizarre. That's Bullshit. Uh, if you have the doors up, you can't fire that, even though you can throw grenades, I'm which my own dead I don't understand. You know, I was kind of expecting Bad to the Bone to play there for some reason. Okay, so where the hell are we? Oh, right, yeah, my map is completely worthless. <laughs> what a surprise! <laughs> right, I can't see anything! Moving on, I'll just sail north and hopefully we get back home. But we tested. Boy, did we test things. Yes. <laughs> Actually, there's a few more tests we need to conduct, such as, will this boat cause me to <laughs> moonwalk off reality? Well, actually, you should probably test that now. Let's see, who's more broke, the, colo the Colonials or the, uh, the Wardens? Which boat is more broke? What the fuck? All right, I'm calling Dev Bias. The fuck? Yeah. The fuck? What? Holy supremacy. Wait, what I miss? So yeah, Holy you know, see, so, so you know how the uh, the the uh, what we call it? the uh, the warden gunboat likes to just kind of throw you off the back of it or consume you inside itself when you're walking around while it's moving. The colonial gunboat is totally fine and is a stable platform, just walking around. That's it's kind of bullshit. I'm not gonna I lie. I can also use my weapon while on the Colonial boat, unlike the Warden boat. Wow. Actually, there's a whole set of tests we can try. Let's what? see if we can use, like, the heavy equipment on this. Like, the freaking Malone and the 
yeah, any that'd, tank rifle. That'd be interesting yeah. once we get back to port. <laughs> ah, yes, combat data. What is the enemy capable of? And how not sorry are we that we sold this now that we know it's so it's most it's so much better than ours. What the fuck? Yeah. I mean it's the same reason why the colonials always try to steal outlaws. They're really fucking good. Yeah, but this thing is incredibly jank, but yeah, I'm, I, this, this is clearly, you know, a better put together than the other boats, so what the hell, guys? It'd be nice if, you know, our boat had, you know, as it looks like a Schnell boat, like torpedoes or some shit, but that's, that's too much, clearly. I will admit this last part of the deck where it's kind of submerges, I don't want to touch because I think this part is jank. Yeah, that's, but the that's rest of it is fine. Yeah, that's probably concerning. However, yeah, no, you can just walk around there and just shoot on the deck and do whatever the hell you want. The guns may actually, you know, engage a target that's approaching on their side. I all in all, this is a much better designed boat. Especially for the purposes, so I, I, I guess I, I guess that means, guys, we're gonna be having we're gonna have to steal a lot of these. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're, we're gonna have high bounties on stealing col colonial gunboats. Ah. If, if only it was as easy as call command and conquer of just like capturing a warehouse. Yeah, just g get an engineer. Just open that bitch. Capture it. Ah. <clears throat> engineer <laughs> rush. Engineer <laughs> That proceeds Wanna to buy sell the their entire time? base. <laughs> Actually, there's a thought. Why is it that whenever we capture a position that's got a storage building, Instead of destroying the storage building, we capture the town center and we steal all the resources inside. It would certainly, you know, make quickly capturing a location that much more valuable because then you can steal resources from the enemy they've stockpiled in a position with a but, lightning strike. Yeah, but no, you have to actually break everything in order to own it, don't you? Yep, Whenever when you take down the um, town center, all the buildings alongside it break, and then when you rebuild the town center, they get set to neutral, and all the storage is cleared out. Which, it's just empty. Which doesn't, yeah, that doesn't make any sense. I can, I can understand why the game kind of got normalized around this stuff, but yeah, the more you stare at Foxhole, the more you realize, wow, this game is not actually that well designed in certain areas. I mean, it's an excellent train set, a logistical simulator. However, uh. Yeah, the, the, some of the gameplay bits aren't exactly fantastic. Or at least... Yes, they're just following their solution. solution. Yeah, the solution to some of the problems they encounter, or perceived problems, is uh, counterintuitive at it, times. It, it's a game with a lot of arbitrary things that are basically amounting... It, it basically amounts to, we said so. Does that the make sense? Does that consistent logic? No. Why is it there? It, we said so. The end. Which, uh, granted, they have the power to do that. However, you could really argue some of this shit. But hopefully, naval gets uh, a, a, you know, a little bit more shipped up here because we can still have fun with this. It's just that, uh, yeah, we need just to actually not be janky as fuck. Well, That's I fun. guess my reference to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnought was more on the nose than I thought. <laughs> Dear Lord, I would take French. I I, I would take French pre-dreadnoughts over this. Again, the fact that we are moving at top speed and I'm standing on the deck here and nothing's happening. It's a small miracle looking at you, just staying exactly where you are. Wow. <laughs> technology. Whoa, technology. <laughs> Meanwhile, move even slightly in reverse and you face to a solid wall and hit the water. Mm hmm and apparently, uh, going inside the the, the warden ship is a uh, uh, go, going into the interior of the warden gunboat is kind of like uh, uh, entering an area of uh, hot, denser gravity. You get like plus five of uh, the gravity of Earth inside there. Ugh. 
as someone who's ridden one of those freaking G simulation rides, like when they call them Turkish delights and stuff, the hmm. thing starts spinning in a ah. centrifuge and the floor falls out. That's not very fun. Uh -huh. oh, it honestly kind of sucks. Like, right. it gets hard to breathe levels right. of sucks. I think that's kind of the point in some cases, but we're almost home. I'm getting closer to my home in a stolen boat. <laughs> so general, generally very silly adventure, but that Are was kind of, that's kind of the whole point of us doing this on the dev server other than the live server. Really? That's this was meant to not really matter. Argo. I swear to God. Oh, so my character model is jumping up and down a little bit. I don't want to stay here any longer. Yes, you're temp it, it does look like it functions better, but don't tempt the, the, the wiles of the brand new walking area. Ooh. Do, not, <laughs> do not make a bet with Clang. Clang will take you for a ride. The Clang. Oh, oh. <laughs> but, well, we're going to bounce off it anyway. Bump. Watch as suddenly I ricochet into the stratosphere. <laughs> so yes, uh, we, we've we've sampled both gunboats. The colonial one is better. What the fuck? Oh dear God, we've entered the hell. Oh God. <laughs> There's quite literally a wall of barges. We're fucking <laughs> surrounded. <laughs> oh my God, this is fucking stupid. Marco, please. <laughs> Is he still setting stuff on fire? No, but he's, he's intimidatingly pointing his rifle grenade at me. He's gonna get you with the fork. The fork! Oh, God. Again, it's also Liam is back. Again, it's actually really shocking that you can't fire that off the deck of a barge. But again, we'll get to the dock and we'll see if you can actually do that shit off this deck, which would be immeasurably entertaining. Because there's no room to do it in the colonial, uh, you know, in the warden uh, gunboat. But now um, I'm on it. I'm honestly just imagining the colonials rolling up to an oil derrick with like two flame troopers in the back and setting the thing on fire. How are you going to put it out on the sea bed? It puts it out. Uh, it goes out automatically. Really? Huh. Fuck off. Yeah. They added a mechanic and they just ruined it. Yes. I know why. It, it's it's primary, Flame's primary purpose is to suppress the building, the infantry inside the building. I mean, so, yes, but for example, with a bunker base, you could kill people as they spawn in if you set it on fire. I, yes, but okay, it's, I can it's, kind of see it's, that. But... It's, it's old world wooden buildings on fire. Though then again, oil rig, metal. But then again, also oil rig, oil, burn. <laughs> Explode. Well, not explode, that'd be natural gas, but oil burn. <laughs> oil buildup. Secondary explosions from fire cook off. Also, they do oh. use gas to run that derrick, so there is gas present. I mean, yes, I suppose so, but yeah, probably, I, I would hope that satchel charges or some kind of exp larger explosive charge would be better for setting that off. Because, really, <laughs> the platform is indefensible. It has no cover, and you you just need to get on top of it, and then you could do whatever. Yeah, platforms are going to be light game anyway. Yeah, so they'll be good for gas, but that's about it. And the occasional rare resource. Yeah, but those are mostly going to be stockpiled because if you can't use them in facilities, you, you there's no use for them. But the, the the heavy oil you can extract out of it that'll be useful. Invisible objects. Do you have collision with the grenade? You do, okay. 
Gentlemen, we are at the mouth of the port. We are home. We have made it. All right, break out the champagne and booze. <clears throat> Granted, the entire crew died aside from me and Iron, but we made... We, ex we lost our gunboat, and then we exchanged our barge for the enemy's gunboat. Very equal trade. We'll do it again. <laughs> I, I, things are about to get really proportional around here. We're, 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 we're altering the balance of the game. Uh. Also, it was really easy to steal this because this thing doesn't have any sort of guardrails or limiting features. But I'm, 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 I'm sure that you could crouch on the, near the side of the boat, and it's probably about as defensible of a, as a gunboat. Or rather, as a barge. It's, it's probably about as, you know, as, as much cover as that. Which is sufficient, to be honest. Until you get ejected. Yeah, until you get ejected. But also, the trade-off as well is that this boat can't be repaired at sea, unlike the barge. Yeah, which is bizarre. It's kind of a you-win-some-you-lose-some deal, isn't it? I don't know. I think they've got a vision of sorts, but, um... I, 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 you know, we'd had a healthy debate about that vision and how it, you know, it may, may or may not be... You know, sensible in some capacities. I'm excited for larger ships here, but you know, we, we also we also have to acknowledge the uh, the the, uh, the 300 foot gorilla in the room here, or 300 pound gorilla uh, gorilla in the room. Of, is this really gonna do much for Foxhole at, at large? It's an interesting no, people away from land combat. Yeah, it's it's an interesting novelty, but with only three hexes to like on each side of the map to do this in. Is it really going to be that big of a deal as it is? I think I mean, we just people people wanted improvements to naval, and now we do. But here's the thing: how much more is that going to improve the game versus I don't know, optimization, refinement of design, increasing philosophy. hex size, exactly, better servers and better netcode to handle more players in a hex. Oh, no, that, mm -hmm. That's not happening until Foxhole 2. We're running on Unreal 3, which limits how many active players can be in a space at once. So we're always going to end up with um, lines and entering well. hexes. And also, well, I granted uh, their updates for their new uh, their, their their new patches. Well, they're good for getting attention because it certainly got everyone's attention. Good for getting mm. them views on YouTube. But we are home. Yeah. I mean, Foxhole Two is here. It's just called Anvil. <laughs> and as as I pull in neat neatly into port, fucking salty dog, my. Procol Harum starts playing. Bonk. Holy shit, you can fire that off the side of the deck. Wait, hang on. Argo, oh, hang, hang on. I, I, I ruined that I, I ruined that entirely, but hang on. All right, so let's pull away from the... Yeah, okay, okay so just, just fire that again. See if you can actually fire that off. Uh, get us moving. Okay. Also, Stranger, that's the wrong machine gun. You have the Rat Catcher, not the... What's the other one? The Kranst... What is it called? Uh, wait, yeah, where is Stranger? All right, fire it in any direction. We're moving. Oh. What the fuck? Uh, bring us back from the port so I can grab a Malone. Yeah, grab a machine gun, because that's actually... Dude, all this deck space and people with light machine guns all over the fucking deck? Dear God! Your wall no. of fucking bullets! 20 mil <laughs> any tank rifles. The fuck? Permission to come aboard. Permission granted. We stole it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's allowed on board. Why? Wait a minute. How? Wait. Okay. Uh, not. Okay. Now I gotta try here. Just look at this man being a fucking BMX star on my boat. Good God. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Get that, Strangers get that man a half pipe. Now you're going to want to crouch and get against the wall. Oh, oh, oh no! no. <laughs> <laughs> He's been consumed by the ocean. All right, stranger, <laughs> crouch. Uh oh. Oh, oh no. No, he's not. back. Oh, oh no, we're running aground on the fucking bicycle. <laughs> oh no. All right, all right. So, all right. So, stranger, crouch near the edge of the boat and right click, and see if you can fire. See if you can shoot. 
Oh, yes. Well, that's that's <laughs> a good sign. Yeah. That, that's it a good does sign. Help if you have bullets in it. Okay. I'm, I think the answer is no. Oh. Unable. Hang on. That's okay. That's again a weird, really fucking weird. Yes, but no, but sure. Are Are you sure you can't fire the rifle grenades off the R's? No, you can't. You You put the doors up and you cannot fire. Caster tried to do it last night and nearly got us fucking killed because he couldn't do it. Actually, well, that's got, the barge. Yeah, the barge. Ours? You probably can, but you wouldn't want to be standing on the fucking deck doing that, because you'd phase right off the boat! The armor boat. This one? This Which one it, apparently works. Like, this shit's actually fully yeah. loaded with equipment, too. But, wow. Yeah, and so Stranger can fire it on the land, but he can't fire it on the boat? What? Well, only available for... Uh, repair only... I, I'm at a dock. What do you mean? I'm at a dock. You're um. You're at the seaport, not the shipyard. It's a. They're Very docks. strange distinction there. It's it's still a dock. This is where you get in and out of the boat. But okay, fine. We'll pull over to the side. I am tempting fate. But yeah, no. You could have way way more people on the deck shooting at things in addition to the guns, which is a major strength. What is the what is the ward gunboat getting in comparison to this? The frontal um, turret. Or, it are, um, this already has mount. this already has a frontal turret though. I meant I meant tripod mount. I mean yes, I... but dude, we could have like four people flanking the front of the boat, and isn't that just as good? I mean, as long as they can fire off like twenty mil anti tank rifles and RPGs. Otherwise, you're just limited to regular small arms. I mean, yeah, but the, aside from the caliber advantage that may be, you know, damage, you know, inducing, you'd get way more, way more utility out of just having this much deck space for infantry to shoot at things, but okay. Also, Fix. it's much easier to get out of this boat. Repair only available at a dock. Mm. Okay. I, are we not able to repair colonial ships at... Uh, warden docks? Maybe that, maybe, uh, what, we've, we've tested it, maybe it doesn't work on, on, yes, you know, right. the side of the map, because they said, well, because, oversight. Because of oversight. Well, All right, well, well no, here, here's, here's the thing, uh, they're using American measurements, we're using metric. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's the reason, I think it's just a design oversight of the dev server, because I'm pretty sure you can repair- I was joking. I, well, okay. But I'm pretty sure you can repair a freaking Kali tanks as the wardens if you capture them and hold them back. Well, yeah, that that but that doesn't that that doesn't require a specific facility. It, it's coming down to, it most likely is coming down to, uh, the facility need you need to be at a specific facility to repair, and it, it's probably an oversight where oh this boat is a colonial boat. Why would they need to repair at a warden dock? What do you mean they can steal it? Yeah, if you... <laughs> yeah, meanwhile, the devs are watching the server. Server. Watching the uh, stream right now. Wait, what do you mean they stole all colonial boat? Well, this is the least surprising thing we could do, to be honest. This, prob this shit probably happens every day. Yeah, probably. But okay, we're throwing it into the seaport, and I'm calling it a night. Okay. Assuming we can actually, re you know, unload it and put it in there, because it may be damaged. We did shoot Remember. it. <laughs> okay. All right, boys, we're putting it in storage. <clears throat> Remember to create the private one so they don't, other people don't steal it. Okay, so how uh, do you create a reserve stockpile? Uh, uh da, 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 da. at the bottom, create reserve stockpiles. The plus. Yes, I did. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh. At the top right, you can. Right. Select the stockpile. Oh, yeah, okay, right. Okay, sorted. Okay, and submit vehicle. Vehicle must be... Okay, it's fucked. Vehicle must be repaired. We can't do that. All right, fine. Well, there's that. We tried. It's ours. We have a video record of us stealing it, but uh, it is most yeah, it, it is more than likely the fact that they, they hadn't coded it so that you could... You know, the other faction can't repair their the, the gunboat at the, their dock because... 
It's nationality. Yo, know, it's limited to nationality. Probably not intentionally, though. Again, I'm pretty sure you should be able to. It's just uh, that they're being weird. Yeah, the the your view range as the driver sucks. Yes, it does, which is why you need so many fucking lookouts. I'm I'm looking at the stockpile from here. The Charon is present, which means you can stash it in here. Yeah, but the thing is, we can't... No, but the thing is, you can do that, but you can't repair it. But you have to be at a dock to repair it, but it's not recognizing the dock to repair it. And the only thing I can see is... I can see is that those docks are owned by us, and it's a boat of the other faction. So again, it's probably somebody fucked up something in a text file. Yeah, so more than likely... There's probably a line of code missing. Yeah, <laughs> we should contact the devs about that. Well, hey, we tested something. We had to steal the boat by force in order to test that, but we found a bug. Or a design oh, flaw. I'm on the turret. Well, a, a design flaw, maybe an oversight, but help. Yes, we tested the game. The structure does not I take friendly fire. Three. What now? We're you using BMATs or RMAT? BMATs. Hmm. But well, um people people may have been annoyed with us stealing their boat, but we had to we had to do it the bug test by force. We're testing by we were we were testing for bugs or else. <laughs> we want the game to succeed by any means necessary. But that's our fo that's our show for tonight, folks. Thank you for joining me. Uh a lot of ups and downs to this stream, but, well, we did it, and we'll probably be back streaming Foxhole when Destroyers and Submarines come out. We'll probably be tinkering with facilities in the background, but that's just more logistic stuff in the background, and probably doesn't work, ha work half the time anyway. But, so, that's it for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for being here, and thank you, boys, for joining me in the chat. Sure. I'm sure yep. we all have a wonderful career ahead of us as pirates, but good night, folks. Enjoy the rest of your evening.